All right, what's up, everyone? OJ over here from Player Essence. Welcome back to another PE podcast. We got episode number 54 going down today, right during the NBA Finals. So we picked a great time for the podcast. Um, also, smash up, <laughs> the, you know, because because we all know what's going to happen in the, in, in the finals. It's going to be a sweep. So, uh, so yeah. That's, all right. Okay. Okay. Well, four one then. Um, all right. So. <laughs> So and we also got Smash Ultimate patch notes. That's that that went live. So a lot of stuffs going on right now. It's a lot of stuffs going on. But we, uh, we got a nice cast here. I want to introduce our guest from uh, the community here because he's a tier three on our Patreon. So thank you so much, VC, for joining us. What's up, VC? No problem, no problem, VC. And also we got Jordan Fringe on the on the secondary computer. What's up, Jordan? <laughs> You're not feeling good today. Not not feeling good today, Jordan. I'm sorry. All right, George or Baron's here. Baron, what's up, Baron? This sucks. <laughs> oh wait, y'all, y'all can't hey, hear I me. I have my mic, guys. It's a five hundred dollar mic. It's not muted. Y'all, I'm y'all can't hear me for real. <laughs> oh my god, this this. No, that, OJ that, had us muted. That sucks, man. No, oh, look, OJ had us muted. Oh, Let's start shit. over. All right, what's up, everybody? OJ, <laughs> what the what hell, bro? Another PE podcast, episode Come number fifty-four. On, How's it going? How's everybody doing today? Yo, we got our community member VC here. VC is here. What's up, VC? What's <laughs> up, everyone? Thank you for inviting me to the podcast. Great to be here. All right. <laughs> Shout out. So we also got Jordan Fringes here as well. What's up, Jordan? Hi. <laughs> are, you, are you feeling a little uh, down today, Jordan? I'm not doing the whole thing I just said again. My internet's still giving me issues after I fixed it. Moving on. Baron's oh, here. Wow, cool. Yay. What's, what's up, Baron? How you doing today, Baron? Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm ready for these Raptors to go in here, surprise the Warriors, go ahead and get that W. You know what I mean? Just like Nintendo's going to get that W. W at E3, so you know. I'm not, nope. I'm I watched the I watched the Planet Xbox podcast, and they said differently. Planet Xbox. Let me say something. To Planet Xbox podcast, real quick. Y'all are delusional as hell. It ain't that, happening. The words of Baron only comes from Baron and do not reflect player essence or myself, <laughs> OJ, from these words that are coming out of this man's mouth. Wait, hold on, I wait, like I, Planet Xbox. Wait. I like Kid Smooth. Oh, I didn't say I didn't dislike them. What are you talking about? I like what they're talking about. I like what they're talking about. I like what they're talking about, too. But as far as Microsoft winning E3, no, you're delusional. Not at all. It's not not happening. Nintendo got that on lockdown, period. Once once they show that updated Damon uh, Damon X Machina, once they show that uh, Astral Chain, once they show that Fire Emblem beautiful bean footage, once they show that Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, once they show that Pokemon, hopefully no flat grass again, once no they show that grass. Animal Crossing, once they show that Bayonetta 3. I definitely don't think that's happening, though. Wow, I'll guns in the chamber. It's I so wish. Right. Oh, oh it's, it's definitely happening. It's definitely happening. We, we, we got a couple donations before the stream started, so we'll read those off. Um, Gay Perez, 1997, says, can you play some Fire Emblem music? I, I don't play music during the uh, during the podcast. However, we can carry that over to the next stream when I do uh, individual streams, PE Lives, and we can get that going for you. Uh, thank you for the $2, though. Uh, LJ Dreaming also subscribed, and Matthew Hammond donated $2 and says, Dora the Explorer is still not 18 yet, so that's very unfortunate for most people out there but i don't know why it matters wow. but uh wow. she's not 18 yet so there you go uh <laughs> he was just trying to look out for you oj That's hey all you I know mean. what i don't even know the first place to start so hey there you go <laughs> there you go i guess we start at the age right 18. uh all right so <laughs> age, right? let's go ahead and let's get into uh let's go ahead and get into some of the topics here we had uh we had a pretty big um um a pretty big problem here with Super Mario Maker 2, because it, it, it was revealed uh, this year, it was revealed this, or, um, this week that Super Mario Maker 2 will not have 
online multiplayer. Thank you for the donation. We'll get that in just a bit. Um, it will not have online multiplayer with friends. You can only play online multiplayer with random people over the internet. They said as of as of now, so it could be patched in. But the fact that this game, everybody felt, you know, that this game was going to, oh, you're going to be able to play with your friends. And it was so funny because me and VC were talking, which I'll let VC go next. But we were talking and we're like, yo, like VC told me, Nintendo pretty much told us there wasn't going to be, you know, friend play. The way that they worded it in the direct, everybody assumed and assumed. I said, we got sneak bodied. They pulled this yep. one out of nowhere because when you go back and look, it's like, wait a minute. They did say others. They never said anything about friends. And then and then when they talked about um, local multiplayer, they said, oh, you and your friends. Man, it was, I feel, I feel betrayed. <laughs> yep, me too. I made I a feel... video on that today too. And I felt the same way. And I mentioned how we got sneak bodied because we did. And it, it, it was just, it just wasn't fun. It was, I, I don't like it. So uh, VC, I'll let you go. I know you did a video on it. I wasn't able to watch it yet, but um, what are your thoughts on this disappointing news? I think for many that uh, Super Mario Maker 2 will not have friend online co-op. Yep. Um, what, what's your thoughts? Oh, and real quick, guys, before I let VC go, um, they, Nintendo did give a reasoning, at least a Treehouse staffer did get a reasoning, and he said, well, we want to uphold the integrity of the, co of the, uh, the what was it called, the, the ranking system, but there's co-op play that doesn't have ranking already in there, but you can play co-op with strangers. So yep. I don't know what they're talking about there. I think that was just a damage control excuse from one of the Treehouse reps. When Nintendo actually gave their, uh, like, gave their statement on it, they didn't say anything about, oh, preserving the integrity of the online multiplayer or the ranking system or anything like that. So go ahead, VC. What's your thoughts, man? Overall, I just think that it is disappointing that we don't have those online features to play with friends online. But overall, is it the end of the world? Not really. Does it ruin the game? For some, maybe. But for me, they added it. The story mode in which they didn't have to do Mario Maker 1 had no story mode it literally was just make a map send it online that's really it Mario Maker 2 at least gave us a story mode and it sucks that we don't have the online multiplayer component but it doesn't ruin it for me personally I've seen countless people say it ruined it for them though so mm. I could definitely see that perspective yeah absolutely. overall though with the video I did go into that I didn't go too deep into the leaderboards though I didn't mention that too much in my video but overall a lot of people in the PE Nation already saw it already. They said it's pretty good. So when you do see it, uh, definitely let me know what you think, of course, too. But it's something I think that definitely will sell lots of units, regardless if it has the multiplayer patched in later or if it doesn't have it at all. So regardless, Nintendo takes a dub, even if we all take L's for it. <laughs> well, even though we all take L's for it. I see some people talk about uh, Nintendo lying about the whole rankings thing. No, that's actually... I don't think they're, I don't think they're lying about that because a lot of games don't allow you to directly play your friends in a ranking system in order to get points or th that's called boosting you know so that's not a lie i think that's just it's just a bad excuse um because the co-op multi the co-op doesn't have rankings tied to it so i can understand for rankings yeah not being able to play your friends because then you can just boost you can just boost you know you can boost yourself you know with 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 rankings so that makes sense right not being able to play ranked matches a lot of games do that but the fact that the co-op play which isn't ranked that's already in there and it doesn't have uh play with like play with your friends that's what's stupid but i understand not playing with your friends when it comes to the rankings okay that makes sense but not the other thing they didn't say and uh for the whole co-op at least the, the nintendo trials rep didn't say anything about the co-op he just said for the ranking play so he was very deliberate in his wording based off of what the article on nintendo um um uh nintendo world report said yeah. um but no he didn't lie about that yeah that's true like you don't want being able to invite your friends then you guys can all just go into a ranking system and boost each other that's something that you don't want so um so yeah he didn't, he didn't lie about that um but in, um let's move on to jordan jordan what are your thoughts on this man uh i think it's for lack of a better term uh and not cursing uh crappy uh i i think that a lot of people assume that even though they didn't directly say that and it was like oh okay that that would be the common sense thing to do nintendo but really the common sense thing is for them to do it like this because they consistently have shown that they have no idea what they're doing when it comes to playing any sort of games with your friends unless it's smash bros and even that they had problems with getting that online to work look at super mario party this is their big redemption game to fix the series that's had problems and then you can't even play the full board game online with friends only select mini games. I'm not surprised, honestly. I'm just disappointed. Yeah. So this this definitely affects it 
uh, in my opinion. Am I still going to get it? Sure. Uh, but this is a huge drawback. This is something that was going to literally take this game to stardom, game of the year, success. That one feature, playing with your friends online, was going to do it. Live streams, co-op gameplay. Uh, it, it was going to be the game that everyone wanted to play. And now it still will do great without it, but it's still pretty crappy. So that that's my opinion. Hey, at least I'm not on Twitter with a really bad take getting everyone in there, getting everyone mad. Yeah, we're entitled, so we're entitled gamers, you know, because we, we want a feature that in 2019. Are you we're talking entitled. about Captain Alex? Oh, yeah. And oh. hey, Captain Alex, uh, no offense, but the only Captain Alex that's allowed to be out there is Alex C&D, Captain Nintendo dude. So you need to back up, my friend. Well, when he feels like actually talking about video games, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, shout outs to Avidon with the $5 donation says Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo with this hashtag online gate. All right, shout out to Avon. Thank you for the five dollar donation, man. I appreciate that. Also, shout out to Focus on Me Play with the uh, with the host via Twitch. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, uh, Baron. Um, I know that you were a little shocked on this. I saw um, I saw you were on uh, <laughs> you were on Twitter like, but Nintendo confirmed it during <laughs> during the direct. You got sneak body too, my boy. <laughs> nice. What's your thoughts, Baron? <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get my, let me get my Shanti moment, my Wusa moment real quick. I think this is absolutely the biggest load of crap I've ever seen Nintendo do. Um, this is something people have been dreaming about for a while and we still can't do it, even though we should be able to do it. But we so, got leaderboards. Um, I could give a damn about a leaderboard. You cannot sit up there and show me all these incredible online features, and then you leave out the most significant thing that people want to do when it comes to playing 2D Super Mario Brothers is to play with people that you know and play with people that are on your friend list. I can't understand it. It's kind of, it's kind of just dumb. I, the reason they gave was basically damage control. That was a hundred percent damage control. I don't care what anybody say. That was damage control. Um, and then we go back and I looked at the direct and I see they really didn't word it that way. They just insinuated that's what you was going to do. Yeah. Um, so I think they kind of did it purposely that way so they wouldn't get any backlash. But they knew this thing was going to come out later on. So I feel like. It's going to launch without being playing with friends, but that's going to change very quickly. I don't think people are going to be too happy about that, even when the game comes out. That's probably going to be the thing they're going to scream about. That's what they want out of this game when it comes to updating the game uh, soon after it launches. So I think it's going to happen. That's why I'm not too mad, but I'm just mad to like, you know, Y'all was sitting up here talking about, oh, that's going to be the big game of the year contender. Well, without that feature, that Metacrit rating is coming down, bro. Well, that's and, really you are. It's coming Super down. Super Mario Party still has had no patches, and it's had tons of problems that people are still mad about. So I don't. I don't, I don't, don't think. I don't think the Metacrit rating is going to go down too much because the first game didn't have it. Oh no, y'all was talking about some ninety-five. That's not happening without this feature in there. It's not happening. I think it can still get a pretty good score, but yeah, it's definitely not going to be as high as what it could have been. With you know, because like. You're, you're 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 right. I mean, like the fact that there's playing with randoms is nowhere near as fun as playing with your friends. That directly affects the enjoyment of the game for many I'm, people. You know, you absolutely right. I'm being honest. That's like window shopping. It's like you going past the window and you see the tag and you can't get it, but it's right there. It's like almost like a female teasing you. It's like, oh, why are you teasing me? Like, just I. It's right there. I need to have it. So why do I not have it? I, I do, it I do doesn't make any sense. I do want to point out real quick, if Party Man's watching, goodness gracious, Party Man, your main got absolutely obliterated in this patch. <laughs> Peach Watch. got absolutely bodied in this patch. And Party Man, if you're watching, can we pour one out for Party Man? Everybody, you got a 40. Pour one out for, for Peach. Goodness gracious in this patch. But anyway. Um, <laughs> Party Man says, I know she got destroyed. I just wanted to say it. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, yeah, man. I mean, 
I'm the same way. Like the fact that you can't, I mean, I think they're going to add it in later. Um, but it seems to me prioritizing an online ranking mode over regular. Nobody even want, nobody even was expecting an online ranking, mode. that could have been added later. They could have just said, Hey, you have friend play with co-op levels and it could have been bare bones. Hey, there's like 15 different levels or 30 or 40 different levels that rotate or whatever, or maybe you can play some of your own levels and you can get into this and play and you guys can have fun that way. Everyone would have been like, cool. And if they would have just added a ranking system later, they'd be like, okay, that's fine. It comes in later. But I don't understand why the ranking system and playing with randoms took priority over playing with your friends. I that that will never I don't understand that that logic behind that. I mean, it's dope that there's a ranking system and I like that they're trying to get it competitive. That's cool. You know, I like that. The ranking system's dope. But the fact that they're sitting there and they're saying, like, you know, that it's gonna be over playing with your friends at, at launch is just ridiculous. But hey. It is what it is, man. What else can you, what can you say? Oh, Peach, you got body too. Um, all right. So, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the, unless anybody else has anything to add, we're going to move on to the next topic. Uh, I got one thing to add. Go ahead. That means Astral Chain is now number one. No, contender. it's not. <laughs> Astral Chain is now number one. Contender you know, you know game nothing the about the game. Relax. Stop <laughs> over hyping stuff. You know nothing about. I'm not. I'm not overhyping. I'm just going off the pedigree, my sir. I'm going off the pedigree. Hey, the what happens pedigree. when you assume stuff? I'm not assuming. What happened when you assumed Mario Maker really. was going to have uh, you can play with your friends? Oh, look! Now we're all looking. Oh, well, man, we got that's... sneak. We got sneak body, <laughs> and that's what we get for assuming. It wasn't an assumption. It was a sneak body. Yeah, they literally said you could play with others. And it's like, oh, friends. Yeah, it's family, it, it's some like strangers, how no, you only strangers. strangers to a genie. <laughs> You got to be careful with what you wish They for. didn't say yeah. random. See, that's the thing that... So, if we can focus on that just a little bit. Others. What does others mean? Other friends? Other others. Other right, people? Literally, it's a golden word. It means anything. It means that, but else. that's BS yeah. because Nintendo intentionally it is, didn't... Yeah. Wow. Nintendo intentionally didn't say randoms during the direct. And that's the issue that I have. When you say other, other friends, that, that could mean lots of other stuff. I agree. So th that was my issue, is that they intentionally didn't say random people online. And that's garbage. I think that's that's a sneak body. Garbage. And I don't like getting sneak body. I don't like that because that's that's ridiculous to say others. People think, oh, yeah, other friends. My wallet got sneak bodied because of that. So well, I that, know how no. you feel. Your, your, brain, your, your brain told you to di don't pre-order digital stuff. <laughs> especially on point. Nintendo's. <laughs> especially on Nintendo. Unless you know for sure you want it no matter what. Yeah, but think about it. Lots of people use those vouchers to get Mario Maker 2, so imagine how they felt. Yeah, that's true. If they were really excited for, for that. The online so. features. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't I don't think it's that detrimental. I think people who wanted the game are still gonna get it. I just think they're gonna speak very loudly about having that feature patched in. Having that feature patched in. Yeah. It may yeah. take a month, honestly. I don't think it's gonna take two weeks. It's gonna take a little while, I think. I think it'll take a month. I'm still getting it because that's the whole reason why I, I, I didn't care for it before. It's like, uh, I don't want to just do what I did on the Wii U because I didn't buy it back then. But when they show that whole online feature set, the whole on online feature set overall is still great. It's just that you got this one little thing that's just missing out of the puzzle. It's like, yeah. hey, can you put that in there, please? And everything will be perfect. I, I want to play the story mode. That's the biggest thing for me. So I'm still getting it. Yeah, me too, because I clearly am forced to get it now, so. <laughs> Gotta have to play a story mode. Oh, my Endless gosh. mode looks pretty good, though. I don't know if you've looked at endless mode. That does look pretty good. Yeah, the endless mode looks dope. Endless hey, you mode. know what looked good? Playing with your friends. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah not oh, playing with man, it, it was such a tease, man. It was like a girl twerking on you. It's like, man, you just right teased the, the hell out of you can't, you can't expect this. You're entitled. If you, if you, if you thought that in 2019 you could play Mario with your friends, uh, you're entitled. Okay. If you thought it's playing a team going to twerk on you and you get more, you're also entitled. Listen, oh, if you God. never ask for improvements <laughs> on a game you or stuff that you feel should be implemented in a game, game because they're being stagnant or suggestions that you have, game if you say a game that you have multiplayer, if you say you're entitled, what is going on? What? What is going on? What? There was all sorts of the like the audio was like doubling and tripling for a second, but it's good now. Oh, <laughs> I didn't hear. I didn't, I didn't hear anything. Yeah, everybody in the chat say the echo. echo. I don't know. What yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear it. So oh, that's <laughs> on your end this time. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it must have been something that just popped up. Or it must have been Google Hangouts. I'm not They're really saying, sure. Bruh, 
Jordan times Am three. Am I still times three to people? Damn, Jordan, <laughs> what's going on with everything? No, over it, there? it wasn't Jordan's fault. I think it was Google oh. Hangouts. Did did it happens jack up something? Yeah, it I've happens. Used it a bunch of times. Um, it all it's all good. Um, all right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next topic here. Um, real quick uh, uh, around the around the. I know, I know, Jordan. Are you still gonna you're still gonna get the game, right, Jordan? Yeah, I'll still buy it. Okay. Just ju- just just a little bit grumpier. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna be saying <laughs> Nintendo. Like, can we get a, a? I mean, this needs to be. It needs to have it. So I'm just gonna politely say, can we please get? Um, some no, money? you're entitled. <laughs> Can't you know, ask for anything. We need to, we need to have, we need to have Captain Alex on. Now, no, please. I, 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 I'll be too. I'll be too rude. I swear. I can't hold yeah. back. That comment was like straight dookie. Like that was like pulled out of his ass, and it's like, well, we hey, need, you're entitled. Well, we need to. We need see. This is why we need to have more understanding. See, I didn't have a problem with this comment. I found it funny because <laughs> I knew he was gonna get a lot of backlash. So I was like, he this? did get a lot of back and yeah. well deserved backlash. I was like, this gonna be good. Now, if I was like, Nintendo, we deserve this, this, and this, and that, and it should be for this price and for this free, and do that, then sure, that's entitlement. All we're asking was for a feature that it seemingly looked like they were advertising, that we were excited for, and the second they pull the rug from under us, we get disappointed, but yet that means we're entitled. Well, okay. I'll tell you what isn't entitled. The $25 <laughs> donation from K19. Shout outs to the donation. Thank you so much, K19 and yeah. Matthew Hammond. With the big donation from K19 to 25, right. and I, Matt, Matthew Hammond with the three. How is my own Fringe fam on a regular basis donating more to you than in my own live streams on Twitch? You you got bro. some super chats, too. I though. guess you got sneak body, Jordan. Well, Dude, well, I just got sneak body, bro. Here, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, <clears throat> I stream a lot, so this man knows. You know, yeah, Jordan, and you, I you, stream a lot, too, on Jordan, Twitch. Jordan, man, you got the business hookups. You got Clean Prince Gaming. You know what I'm saying? You were on the show with John when I wasn't. You know what oh, I'm saying? You got those like clean hookups, my man. So your boy's just yeah, throwing me some but, love. But, but a, boy, a boy can't get 25 bucks to go get a sandwich? <laughs> that's a lot of sandwiches, bro. Sandwiches that's, like, that's like three sandwiches if I went to Subway. Hey, hey, K19, shout outs, my man. Thank you so much for the big, huge Odama Rasenga Toby Blast. Appreciate that. Let me read off some comments here. Uh, let me read off first from Matthew Hammond donated another three. Thank you, Matthew. He says Nintendo's gonna patch it. They need a reason to talk about it in another direct. Okay. Uh, but I don't that's that's not a good thing to do. They, they're gonna put in a lot of extra content into this game. Like Super Mario Maker, the original got extra patches and stuff like that afterwards. So I think there's gonna be a lot, but I don't think that that's not a reason to you know to to not put it in at the beginning. But I see what you're saying. I know I know what you're saying though. Uh, K19 also donated 25 huge. Oh, Dama Rasengan, that's a unique uh, unique jutsu, so shout out to my boy. He says, I would have been satisfied with the Mario Maker port, but with everything else that is added, um, this doesn't affect my purchase. Also, my tax is missing um, the the streams. Okay, oh, my my tax. Oh, my, I think he meant, my bad? My, I think he meant my bad. My bad for missing the streams. Yeah, he hasn't been here uh, in a while, so that's the reason why. So, shout outs to K19. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Also, shout outs to Rigo Romero with the $5 that says, Yo, Baron uh, was hilariously uh, shutting certain people down on. Oh, God, I'm not mentioning I'm not mentioning those people. I'm good. Shout outs to Baron shutting people down, but I ain't mentioning them. Um, either way. Oh, oh, uh, what? No, what was it? Because I didn't see it. What no clout. It? I don't. No, I ain't giving them no clout. Nah. No clout. Oh, oh, he, oh, he talking about the uh, the W. Yeah, I, I ain't giving no clout on my podcast. So. Oh, oh. But shout outs. Thank oh, you, yeah, Rigo yeah. Romero. Appreciate that. Thank you for the donation. I didn't know. I didn't know y'all seen that, but uh, you know, um, Landrew called in a favor because I owed him a favor. So I went over there and I just shut everything down. Hey, I that's... shut it down with facts. So you know. It was hilarious because, man, when you corner people and they don't know what they're talking about, it gets funny. So. That's that's good, but like I said, no no clout boys here. Uh, but shout out yeah, to them. I'm, I'm glad, glad they're doing the thing. Good, uh, continue to have a great podcast, guys. But anyway, um, all right, moving on. <laughs> Before we move on, I do have one point to make. Um, OJ, bro. <laughs> Stop laughing. Uh, go ahead, VC. <laughs> go ahead. Another thing what? that Mario Maker doesn't have is Amiibo support. Oh, so that's something I think is pretty important, too. A lot of people like using their Amiibos in Mario Maker. So, like, seeing that that support may not be there is unfortunate to a lot of people. What do you guys think, though? Yeah, they're really messing this game up quick. <laughs> I don't care about Amiibo support because I mean, what did Amiibos do in the last Joker? game? Right? They did. did they do as, anything? You play as you play as them uh, in the courses. Don't you want to play as Joker no. in Mario? Man? 
Not what really. No. Okay. All right, I, I actually on. don't want to play as I don't want to play as like my amiibo in in the game. Bro, we're buying a downgraded game. Nintendo's really sneak body in us. Bro, this they game like has hey a... they sneak bodied us. Built they they dug the grave and threw us in without us even looking. Which one's which one which <laughs> one's knew, better? They, they could amiibo or a freaking full oh story. <laughs> Kid, just sent me money to my PayPal. <laughs> I was joking, you pieces. All right, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna log in and see if he sent me a message so I can read it. Oh my Jesus god, Christ. OJ yeah. is savage as hell, bro. Yeah, super savage. But Jumpman even said that he wanted to play as Joker and Mario. Like, <laughs> this man, did, he did the fucking Marine salute. <laughs> <laughs> man, you you overhyped it. <laughs> I can't, I can't because uh, a lot of people don't know, don't know everything, but it, it's funny to me because I know all the details. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> nah, no problem. I got, I, got, I got blocked anyway, so it don't matter, bro. Oh, yeah. I got you. Some, some people know, but I, I just, that shit killed me right now. I forgot, I forgot all about that. It's, uh, yeah, just, just it's all good. It's all good. I'll, it's all good. I don't, I don't, I don't mean any harm to anybody. Um, I know you don't. All right, yeah, so you do. no, I don't. Only to the Dragon Quest rivals. That's the only thing that you mean harm to is me for that. No, I don't. I mean no harm to anybody, man. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, um, I, I I think uh, with the whole amiibo thing, I just don't. I just don't care about playing as a bunch of other people. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, like I just like I I think a story mode is a lot better than amiibo support. You know what I'm saying? Like. To me, at least, like which one's better, playing it as amiibo in levels or a freaking story mode? Like to me, a story mode kills it, you know. So that's just my opinion. I'm, yeah, I'm tired of amiibo. Amiibo need to go. I just don't care. I don't. I just don't feel like scanning a bunch of amiibo to a game, like just to play. But you'll like, scan them for Smash now that there's the patch. Because you can train them. It's different. That's actually like way more involved than like sitting there and talking about like playing as a character that has the same physics as a character that you had before. It's just it just looks different. Yeah, that's true. Good point. You know, I mean, I, that's cool. I mean, I understand other people. You know, they maybe it'll get patched in. Maybe they'll patch it and we will support. You know, maybe that's the thing. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, shout outs to the Icar. Hold up, hold up. We got a couple more donations. Shout outs to Party Man with the five dollar donation. He says this is for the unnecessary Peach nerfs. Just know I will continue to main here regardless of the nerfs, since I am dedicated and loyal. At the end of the day, enjoy the five. <laughs> enjoy this five. <laughs> No, Peach is still dope. She's actually still really good in the game. Um, she's just nerfed. Um, shout outs to the Icarus with the twenty dollars donation. Big donation coming through Super Chat. He says, "I'm mad at Nintendo for not letting us play with friends, but at the same time, they didn't have to put multiplayer in the game." Huh? Honestly, I didn't uh, even know they had multiplayer to begin with until they said so. Okay. Well, well no one did. Well, nobody <laughs> did. But yeah, it was yeah, all new to us, and then they lied. Yeah, I, I think they'll still blur. be patched in. I think they'll still be patched in. So I don't. I don't think they lied, but they lied know. to me. Damn it! <laughs> Why'd you lie? Um, all right, so let's go ahead and let's move on to the next topic here, guys. Um, and that is Death Stranding. This game is already no, causing a huge, God. huge uproar online. There's people Whoa. who are saying this is the greatest thing they've ever seen. There's people that are oh saying this God. game is not good. And the minute you say, I don't like this game, the minute you say anything potentially negative, bro, those people come after you quick. So it's interesting. Um, they have to protect right. their precious Kojima. Uh, God, the, brand new trailer, eight minutes of gameplay. We actually have real, like we we know what this game is now. Like you have to um, connect strands. Like civilization got bodied somehow, right? And it's pretty much empty, but there's still civilizations left, and then you have to connect them through strands or whatever. That's why it's called Death Stranding. So you have to, you're like a connector or something like that. And that's the Normus Reedus guy. But there's going to be all sorts of crazy organizations and people coming after you. There's these dudes in, like, these yellow suits that are trying to poke you with, like, a electric rod or something like that. And you have to dodge them. And, and the, running in this game, the running in this game looks really funny, by the way. It looks like a modified siphon filter, the way that they run. But uh, <laughs> regardless uh -oh. of, <laughs> regardless uh -uh. of that, it, it, the game looks okay. I, I'm going to get the game. Um, are you serious right now? Yeah, I'm gonna get it. November. I always buy Kojima's one. games. November. Are you serious right now? I have every single. Man, I have dude. every single main Metal Gear game. I have. I have metal, every single main Metal Gear. Metal Gear One, Twin Snakes, Two, Three, uh, Four, 
five. I have all the the main Kojima games. I always hey, that's buy that. That's fantastic. Uh, okay. Can I say some stuff, or do you, Baron? Do you need to go first? No, no, you know. Go ahead. Go me, ahead, let Jordan. Me, let, let Jordan. Let go. me take a deep. Let me take a deep breath. Go ahead, man. Yeah, all right. Man. So I want to say a few things. One, uh, but I know we're going to get technically into the Last of Us two because of this. I just want to say that my uh, release date prediction until the announcement of the delay was pretty damn spot on that it was coming out at the end of the year. So thank you very much. Anyway. Uh, with Death Stranding, uh, this, I, the game, I am so interested in this weird sci-fi story. I think it's fascinating, but I have no interest in playing this gameplay. I would love to watch a movie of this. If this were a movie, since they have Nicholas Winden Refn playing a character who is a director who makes very artsy films, Guillermo del Toro, another director, Norman Reedus, uh, Leia Sudo, like they have like legit actors and directors and that actors are in the fun. film. And it's like, I just want to watch this. Like, I'm probably going to get it, but it's like, I don't care about the gameplay at all in this game. I don't think it looks that fascinating. I just think the story is so weird and interesting, and we know really nothing about it that gets me into it. As a huge sci-fi buff, this is what I'm into. I, I like the weirdness. I don't... It's the most beautiful-looking like story I've seen in a game. It, it reminds me of a like Detroit Become Human, a heavy rain, something I'd rather watch than play. I want to be in there in the story. If he released a long movie that was all CGI like this, I'd watch it. I'm into that. But the gameplay, I have no interest in running from guards trying to get you or <laughs> dying but not really dying and having to escape the world. And is someone is anyone gonna buy that collector's edition where you get a baby? Oh, I don't yeah. want to. Oh yeah, I don't People want are gonna that. buy that. I, I, I want to. Uh, that's weird. That's Co a weird. Are y'all serious right now? Yeah, no, Kofi from the Press Start podcast was like, he's like, and I'll get that. Thank you so much, Tether Gaming, for the Toby. Bruh. I'll read off your thought. I'll read off your comment Bruh. in just a bit. But yeah, Kofi from the Press Start podcast, by the way, great podcast. Um, was like, I've been on the get. You're I've been so on the savage, though. <laughs> no, it's, it really is a good podcast. I've been on it before. I'm not joking. Uh, no, it, it is. I've been on there too. It is. I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying. Bro, that's that not calling edition me savage. Like I'm trying to throw shade at them. No, but anyway, Kofi said terrible, that, dude. he said he's gonna buy that that big clutch edition. Why do you want a baby? It's just a box. He has a no kids. Of a baby. He has that's, no kids. It, it's weird. It's a weird collector's edition. It is something I'd feel uncomfortable with owning, especially if I brought someone over. It's like, oh, why do you have a fetus in a bottle? Uh, well, you <laughs> oh, see, I bought God. this game called Death Stranding. Oh, cool. What's it about? I don't know. <laughs> this is this is unbelievable what I'm hearing right Look, now. Look, wow. David David Drayton. Shout out to Lena to David Drayton in the chat. He says, bought four clutch editions for resale. I hope this game is I hope the game great. <laughs> LOL. He's scalping. Bro, that's a smart thing to do. Yeah, that's a smart that's thing to do. Thing. Absolutely. Absolutely oh it's smart. Yeah. Hopefully it turns out well for you, David. I'm rooting for you, my man. Hopefully you don't have four fetuses just sitting in your living room every day for like the next eight years. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, Baron, what are your thoughts, man? I know you want to go on this. Then we'll get to then we'll get to BC. Are you serious? I, I, I can't even. I can't even. Sorry, I got sent a donation that I was told to read. Uh, on the okay, podcast, you, you can read it. This is to this is to you, Baron. Uh, it says, Baron walks into a store and asks the clerk, there is some flat ass, I mean flat grass outside. The clerk responds, this is not okay. I am a precious mayonnaise colored woman who respects culture. <laughs> but they spell culture with a K. Uh, and then it says, OJ, I like Dora. Oh my oh. god. Thank you, Hentai Lover it. 17. <laughs> this man hentai lover. You could you could you could have just donated to me and said that. <laughs> no. You wanna know how much yeah. he gave me? How much? Thirty-seven dollars. Did he really? No, he gave me a dollar. Oh about to say <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, hentai lover out here with bank. Let's go. <laughs> man. Where did you get thirty seven dollars from? Uh, I just like, said a number that would make you go, what? No, why not like 25 or 30? Bro? This man said 37. K19 sent me a 30. He said, sorry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm lost for words, man. Clearly, spit it out already. Jeez. Um, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know what OJ is excited about. I really don't. I, I, this this was probably one of the worst reveals I've ever seen dude, in my life. There's no flat life. grass. Did you see that grass, dude? That grass is beautiful, man. There That's was some grass. There's no, a lot no, of no, grass. Hold on. Let me say something real quick. 
No. I said this in the video I, I made about it. The grass is wonderful. The grass is thick. The grass is voluptuous. It's love, It's guys. beautiful. Yeah. Mm. But outside of all that, the game is beautiful, but that's about it. Yep. I, I, I don't care about walking around like I'm the UPS man or I work for USPS. <laughs> I, I don't give a damn about that. I also don't give a damn about – <laughs> I don't give a damn about people in yellow suits chasing me down, trying to hit me with tasers. I don't give a damn about pulling the ladder out my damn back pocket to climb up two feet. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about him coming to the wrong. ground and having little devil devil things floating in the air, not even moving. I don't give a damn about that clunky ass damn combat we seen. I don't give a damn about <laughs> riding that ugly ass motorcycle. I don't give a damn about them clunky jumping around shooting mechanics that we've seen in this game. What Am I the only one about? that is concerned that y'all really ain't seen no damn gameplay out of this game? No, and there was gameplay. Hey, no, they no, showed gameplay. gameplay. No, they showed you twenty seconds of they, damn. They gameplay. saw some dude got knocked the hell out with like a briefcase. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, he hit him with a briefcase. Hey, he was shooting someone in the trenches in World out of, War Two. Out of, out of yeah. 10, almost 10 minutes of a trailer. 10 minutes now of a trailer. Eight and a half. You got 30 seconds. Maybe more like 45 gameplay. seconds. 30 seconds all... out of nine minutes. You know how much yeah, they're, they're hiding for? the story. <laughs> I'm not, boy, if I could jump through this damn camera right now. They ain't hiding no damn story. They are hiding Dude, the I'll story. Say, it's I'll Kojima. take you on. It's, no, no, it's no, Kojima. It's, no. There's going to be like freaking five hours. You think Endgame no, was long. No. Bro, this game's going to have like 15, 30 hours of cutscenes. I don't want to hear nothing about they hiding the story. That hiding the story has nothing to do with being transparent about what the gameplay is. Dude, that has yeah, nothing to do it. with telling me what the gameplay or what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing when I get I, the controller in my hand. I, I have no idea what my abilities are. I have no idea what my weaknesses are. I have no idea what... I don't have no your idea. Weak, your weakness All I seen is was electric. a damn wheel, and I could pick a damn ladder and pop it out like I work on Minecraft or something. Electric like, rods are your weakness. Did like, you see the pokey pokey with the electric rod? That's your weakness. This damn game, bro. Nobody, I have never seen a studio show off a game for like the fourth or fifth time, and you still have not shown an in-depth demo of gameplay. I don't know how you're hyped for this garbage. I'm not hyped. I'm excited. <laughs> Same. I don't know how y'all have This game is certified trash until we get a gameplay demo. Ooh, that's, you're, pl you're playing with fire there, but uh, no, no, I ain't playing with fire. No, you do. You're you're Tell literally stepping in the that fire. Has done that, I'm that not saying. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying you're playing with fire with, I'm with not the playing Kojima with fire, fan. Man. Dude, the I'm, Kojima look, fans are gonna come I'm after you. I'm a Kojima you, fan too. I have a picture of Kojima in me on my Instagram. In you? I what? A, yes, you. I do. Yes, like, he's in wait, you. I, Kojima's I, in you, bro. I said that? on my Instagram. You not said in, you said wait, Kojima okay. in you, bro. Oh, OJ, are you really going? Are, are you Is really he standing going? inside <laughs> you? Talking about OJ? OJ, you really want to go in? I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. You really want to go there, OJ? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Pause. Hey, Kojima right, in you, bro? Like, bro. Like... <laughs> that's what I thought. You don't want to go there. Hey, I, I didn't say it. You said no, it. Uh, I, said, I didn't say in. I said on my Instagram. Mm, pause. Y'all yeah. okay. just ain't hearing me. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Everyone here didn't hear you correctly. <laughs> Hell, uh, 200 but, of us. But still, um, we know Sony ain't going to be at E3, man. And that we don't know when we're going to see this game again. And it comes out in November. Yeah. And he's gone. <laughs> well, the Kojima got, fans got him. Yo, y'all got to read what Mage from Twitter said in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> what did Mage oh, say? Oh, God. Read what he said. I ain't going to read it off, but it was funny as hell. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yo, Kane, yo worry, shout out man, to K19. Man. He sent me another 20. He said, hey, don't lie. You bought the Fallout 76 Collector's Edition. <laughs> did you buy the Jump Force Collection, too? Yeah, that's probably even worse, honestly. Well, at least Fallout 76 has more people playing than Anthem. That's all that is. I do. I can't even believe that. It's crazy. I can't. Anthem garbage, cuz. Yeah, but like Fallout 76 ain't 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 great too. Yeah, so I'm surprised know, there's even but, more there. But Fallout's a more popular franchise than Anthem. Anthem's Yeah, good. but just go play any other Fallout game. But people have already beat all the Fallout games. Nah, you can do it again. No, you want to play something different. 
Not that different. Apparently, that's not the case. And from yeah, what I understand, all, it's getting better. Listen, all you have to do to beat Anthem's player rate is have like 12 people on. So, <laughs> No, from what I understand, Fallout 76 is actually getting better, right? It's, yeah, we'll see. No, it's they've been doing some updates. Yo, yeah. Have they? I don't know. I've What's heard that they were, but I'm not paying attention. I don't have the game. Yeah. So. Okay. I still haven't played it once. But you got the, you got the collector's edition, though. Yeah, I have every Fallout Collector's Edition, though. Ah, I see. You're, you're a man of fine Fallout taste. Yeah. All right, I'm back. I'm back. You're About back time. Here, Jesus you. Christ. I'm back. Jordan, you have no room to talk. <laughs> <laughs> you have no room to talk right now. I have all the but Like room. I was saying, man. Like I was saying, who just... Who pay, did somebody just pay bow me from the chat? Dude, yeah, people are PayPal and me, dude. It's pretty funny. They're stopped Yo, donating to OJ. Oh, my no Lord. Lord. Y'all crazy. Somebody did PayPal me. Y'all, Who was it? Tripping. Was it K19? No, I think it's Matthew. Matthew. Dude. Oh, man. Matthew. Matthew Hammond. Matthew has his ways. Yeah. Uh, shout, shout outs to Tether Gaming with the 15. And he said, Death Stranding for Game of the Year 2019. Kojima is finally back. Let me say something, man. <laughs> if I hear that bullshit one more damn time, I swear. I'm going to start punching people. I don't want to hear no Death Stranding game in the year. What have you seen to make you say that? Don't punch Tether. What don't, have you don't, seen don't to justify Tether, your statement of game of the year for Death Stranding? Don't punch Tether. He's a big dude. He's like, he's a big, big black dude. I don't, look, I suplex big monk all day. Hey, I, I don't care. I'm just saying. Hey, I'm just saying too. Y'all gonna, y'all have, it's y'all game of the year, play. Baron. Deal with it. VC, no, it what, what, what is your thoughts on this, VC? First thought I had was, wow, this place looks beautiful. First time I saw him start moving and start fighting, it looked like GTA 4 to GTA 5 combat and running. That's what it looked like to me. It didn't look like anything special or anything or anything crazy like that. But him walking around, it looked nice. It reminded me of like Breath of the Wild where you're exploring the environment, everything around you. It reminded me of that when I saw him bring out the ladder and walk around. Of course, in Breath of the Wild, you actually climb it physically, which is different than this game. Overall, though, the game looks great. Gameplay doesn't look that satisfying overall. It does look like a movie. That's a game. And that's how most Sony games are nowadays. It's just how it is. And a lot of Sony fanboys like it like that. And yeah, of course, Kojima games have them more movie-esque too. But it's something on Sony consoles that just, it's what sells. It's how it is. And personally, I'm buying it because I think it looks really interesting. And I think it looks like a fun thing to watch. (laughs) Not really play, just something to explore and walk in a few times. And that's really it. I don't think you'll see. Yeah, that play game is going to be a... <laughs> like it's a game you'll play once or twice, and that's it. Or it's like I Metal Gear Solid Five. It's a, it's a game that I played literally one time, and I played it. I think for about an hour, and said, "I think I'm done." One uh, thing funny though for me is like I saw the yellow hazmat suit guys, and I immediately thought of Monsters Inc. with the people with the hazmat suits in the yellow as they are running around chasing him. That's that's immediately. Listen, what I they got to get the sock off his back. <laughs> yeah, that's why they have the the poker to try and take it off. <laughs> well, I have a uh, a thing I have to read because of the PayPal. All right, well, go ahead. I don't know if I should read. It. <laughs> wait, no, wait, no, don't don't read it then. Don't read it. Don't read it. Why? What no, it's, it, 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 it's, you, it's not it's not that bad. It okay. says OJ likes D and Mayo. And underage Dora the Explorer. <laughs> this is just all this is all just ridiculousness. <laughs> I like how we're finally getting some some donations on this. Thing. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Man, y'all, I, I look, y'all get anything. We go on this podcast, we don't get nothing. Y'all get so y'all this podcast is dope now, right? Y'all getting stuff on this one. <laughs> hey, I, I just became tier three the other day. <laughs> That's true. Um, shout outs to Hentai Lover with the doll donation. It says I don't give a damn about flat grass. Grass sometimes is flat and sometimes is thick. The gameplay is going to be thick as Hell well. Yeah, my boy. Tell him. I whip out my ladder all the time, Baron. And what's wrong with that? Put Baron down oh, into the wow. trash. Can wear the mayo uh, in the trash can where the mayo belongs. <laughs> he said, "I whip out my ladder all the time." Wow. Hey, but sometimes, uh, sometimes that, you need a ladder. That's that's funny. That's that's, Yo, that's Cal- real cute. Yeah, because half the things you say are a stretch to reach. Dude, Kyle, Kyle Lowry looks like a little kid playing right now. <laughs> he looks like, Look like a looks, middle school playing with Bortles. He looks like a no, there's no joke. He looks like a like a sixth grader on the court with all these kids. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Man, leave him alone, man. I can't do. How'd they pay this man twenty million for what? 
Big Lil Lowry. You're too short there. to get 20 million. I'm sorry. Get me out there. I'll give you 10 points a game for, for 1 million. <laughs> Wow, you just disrespecting the. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Like I can't. I, I this. He looks so funny, and he's like not skinny either. He's kind of like, kind of like. Big, I mean, you know? they they playing pretty well right now. So okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Is, isn't he taller than you? Um, in NBA terms, he's short as hell. You know, matter. Oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, he's taller than me. He's actually taller than uh, I think all of us here. I think. How tall hey, is he? I'm I'm six foot one. You're not. You're five. You're five eleven, VC. <laughs> your damn tinder profile <laughs> but that you be done <laughs> hey with shoes on i'm six foot one it's all that so with shoes on and some heels with heels and i spike my hair up i'm freaking six foot four dude you wear three layers of socks in the shoes <laughs> gives you an extra centimeter or two yeah, he's man. not wrong oh my gosh dude no he's about cal Lowry's about six foot um but You're anyway who cares <laughs> So. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and let's move on to the next topic here, guys. Uh, oh, real quick. Uh, so the la it looks like this game is going to be um, – it's coming out November 8th. So look at The Last of Us 2 is delayed to early 2020. So any quick thoughts on The Last of Us 2 getting potentially delayed to 2020? That's fine. Uh, I, think, I think it's terrible. Pretty. I'd rather true. have it. In, I mean, rather than Death Stranding, I'd rather have Last of Us 2. But, I mean, that's fine. I'll wait, I guess. Honestly, that sucks. I, I I really can't believe it didn't come out. I, I personally am not a huge fan of Last of Us. I played it. I beat it. It was good. It just wasn't something that I was like, oh, I need the second game like right now. Like I'm willing to wait another year, especially since we're getting Death Stranding early. I was more looking forward to that next year. So it's great oh. that we're getting it now, but it could be we're going to get it in February. <laughs> we're going to get it probably February. It's not that long of a wait. Well, we see you got a fan, bro. Uh, thanks, Ashoka. Um, I'm sorry to tell you, but there's a really long line, though. So, thank you. Oh, wood bang! Oh my God, y'all wilding today. If you want to PayPal me, I'll put that in the. Uh, <laughs> hey, you got, he got that. He got that premium Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> premium Snap, dude. Yeah, that premium uh, maybe, Snapchat. maybe it's a hundred dollars an entry. <laughs> uh, Subscribing to my channel is free. Subscribe, subscribe to this man's channel. See, see all the VC and all of his goodness. Um, thank you for the dollar ninety nine though. Appreciate that, Ashoka. Also, shout outs to Ethan R with the uh, dollar ninety nine. Don't Ashoka. even read it. Nah, y'all be reading stuff on me. I'm reading this one. Jordan, get a closet. It's like spiral <laughs> posters. Hey, hey, Ethan, I don't got a closet either. I have thank my you. What is with right you, here, weirdo right East Coast yeah. people with no closets? No wait closet. Wait a minute. Wait, no. wait, you need to stop because I have. Four damn closets, so it ain't got nothing to do with you. I don't care about you. Body. I'm talking about them. It's fantastic. Right, well, for, I'm happy for, for me, you, Baron. It's different. I, I had a choice of a small room with, with two closets or a big room with no closet. And I'm like, I have a dresser. I'll use that. It's not done. Okay. Well, it still sucks that you guys don't have closets. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty right. comfortable with that. Yeah, I'm good. You, one of these closet. days, you guys are gonna get a closet. You're gonna be like, man, this. Is I've had closets before. It's not like I've never seen a closet in my life. Oh, that, that's true. You used to. I think you used to be on this coast. So yeah, you had a closet before. So I I've don't had know. I've had plenty of closets before in my life. I just currently do not have one. <laughs> if I have any skeletons, at least I know I have nowhere to put it. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got no skeletons. Shout out to Matthew Hamill with the donut. Mm -hmm. He says OJ complaining about tips. Here's a super chat. I, wait a minute, I wasn't complaining. You guys, <laughs> what the hell? I was saying that, yo, this podcast is dope because you get tips like, like all the, the cast members are getting tips too. I wasn't complaining. I wasn't complaining at all. I appreciate you guys. <clears throat> Shout outs to Matthew, right. though. Thank you for the $1.99, man. I is appreciate that. Low? Low? They're saying my mic's low. Yeah, your mic is a bit low, actually. Yeah, you can turn right. on your mic. Yeah. How's this? Is it better now? Yeah, that's way better. All right. Great. Um. All right. So I think we should move on to the next topic here. Uh, it seems like everybody's like, eh, whatever, on The Last of Us. I'm going to get The Last of Us 2 just because the graphics are good. So that's all I'm going to get it for. The graphics are good. Um, all right. So let's go ahead. <laughs> Not because uh... of the grass? <laughs> Not because it's actually going to be a really good story, probably. I'm not really – to be honest, like, stories are great. I, I, I like – but, like, the gameplay really has to hook me for me to continue playing. Um, I feel the gameplay is solid enough in that game. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good enough. I think it'll, it'll be good enough. It's good. I like it. I like Hopefully. Oh, okay. um, hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, let's see here. Call of Duty. Oh, Speaking of, you know, something new. Good gameplay, maybe. Call of Duty 
is they have a brand new trailer for the new game Call of Duty. It's called Modern Warfare, even though there's already a game called Modern Warfare. But apparently this is a yeah. new game. This is a new game, Call of Duty, and Baron Baron is out here pretty happy because Baron likes Call of Duty. Um, yep. So, uh, what are you guys? What are you guys' thoughts? Did, you, uh, did everybody see the trailer for Call of Duty? Mm-hmm. Great. I've definitely seen it about four That's times. That's the best way I could say it. Just great. Okay. Um, so, Baron, I guess we can start with you. What are your thoughts, man? Call of Duty Modern Warfare coming out October twenty fifth. My thoughts is I pretty much loved everything I've seen. Um, you could definitely tell from the beginning that this is a new engine, so um, I was very happy about that. Bro, the second um, they're coming out the helicopter and it looks like real footage, like it, like the way his like the the clothes is like moving in the wind from the uh, the blades of the helicopter to like the first cam person on the shoulder as they're infiltrating the room, like yeah, that engine's nice. Yeah, that that engine is like I, I like crispy. that. Um, but what really topped it off for me is once they said cross-play confirmed across all platforms. And I was like, this is the day everybody's been waiting on. Because I, all I hear is that, why don't you play on PS4? Why don't you play on Xbox? Why don't you play on PC? Now we can shut all that garbage up and get it down to the nitty-gritty because that's what everybody dreamed about when Call of Duty back in 360. Can you have everybody just play together? That would be awesome, wouldn't it? So I'm glad that is happening as well. And what also shocked me was no season pass, and all maps afterwards are free. So I was like, you know what? Y'all could probably thank Fortnite for that, because Fortnite has opened up kind of a Pandora's box of how much content people are going to have to end up giving y'all now when it comes to their games to stop charging you for everything. But, you know, on the back end, they still rate, they got ridiculous prices for all these additions they have. So I guess they'll make it up on that end of the game. But, of course, there's some things I did not like. And nope. one of them is <laughs> that it looks like Battle Royale is not going to be there, which is beyond retarded. I don't know why would you take Battle Royale out of the game. Um, zombies don't look like it's going to be there either. Um, they brung back, look like spec ops. They look like they brung back spec ops mode. So I'm like, okay, I don't know if this is a thing. But obviously the big elephant in the room is that where's the Nintendo Switch version, right? That's not the elephant and, in the room. Uh, we already knew it wasn't happening. Crossplay is the elephant. Um, and um, when it comes to that, I understand. They, they built that engine for five years. So that pretty much answers your question. But at this point, it's really no excuse. They should have been thinking about it after the Switch launch. Somebody could have helped them port it over. But they didn't give a fuck because it's Infinity War. They don't care. Hey, I'll tell you about Battle Royale, why it's not there. It's because they are focusing on keeping the other Battle Royale for Black Ops 4 as relevant as possible. And they're probably going to release it as a standalone thing because they're not going to keep making a brand new Battle Royale to support every single year. Well, I mean, okay, that kind of, I get it, but battle, not but not having battle royale at this point. It's they kind do. Of like, it's it's just on the last game. Like yeah. they're gonna make it standalone for that, sure. That game point. just came out less than a year ago. If you want battle royale, pick up that game. And they can't have a. They can't compete with themselves in this case. They're not going to make another one to compete when everyone's still playing their other one. Well, I mean, you could say that, but they was doing that with zombies, so it's like zombies is completely different, though. Every zombies game is different. Okay, There's always every some battle royal can be different as well, but but, but not with themselves. They're not going to be EA has already competed with themselves and it's already hurt them. Look at what they tried to do with so they they launched Apex Legends right before they finally finished Firestorm for Battle uh, Field Five and no one's playing it. They cannibalized right it on purpose Anthem, too. because it should have yeah. been there at launch. That's why the way they played that guard. Plus that and, game and, and, the, and they decided, hey, we can't wait. They yeah. launched another one, and that's why it's ultra successful. Here, here's the, the thing, other. though. Here's the thing, though, Baron. Like, where do you want them? Because there's there's a finite amount of time. As somebody, I'm a content creator myself, and I know you can spend time on this or this or this or this. Do you want them spending time on another battle royale when they already had issues with their current battle royale? You want them to make a whole other one, or do you oh, want it to be the wait, same wait, wait, exact hold, thing hold, hold, that we got? Let's let's not over exaggerate the issues in Black Ops Four Battle Royale because it they wasn't really that major whatsoever. There was just small I mean, little things. There was some because I, I I played a lot of that, so it wasn't. There's no still major some issues, and the game is dead not, on PC. What I'm trying to say is that like they already have it's a, dead on PC. Yeah, I mean that's PC though. They already have a Battle but this Royale. Should, this, 
this should fix it because it's crossplay now, so the game shouldn't die on PC. Okay, no more. That, that's but, true, but they they already have a battle royale that's still apparently you know people are playing on console. People are playing. Yeah, the game people on are console. still playing it. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, what's the point of then you release another one that's going to kill that one that just came out less than a year ago? I mean, I think that you just support the one that you've already got, you know, and then you just put out put all your heart and effort into making this the best multiplayer crossplay experience, in my opinion. I, I got you on that, but you got to understand, crossplay is awesome. It's great. It's amazing. But if you're not bringing uh, what is considered now the standard modes of today, the crossplay aspect is going to wear out. But so why does I guess we got to be standard modes of today. I, I, does, it, does that need to be a standard mode of today? Yeah, it's, no, it's it doesn't. Like, nah. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. No, it's every like, Call, of, it, it, Call of Duty come out every single year. We don't need a new Battle Royale from Call of Duty every single year. Call of Duty I'm never just, needed just, Battle Royale for as long as it lasted. Like, I don't I'm, think it needed it at all. We at least got story and, mode this time, though, and I and think that's a little yeah, better. Thank God. Here, here, right? here's, the thing, here's the thing, though. That's the thing people complaining about when it came to Call of Duty. This is how everybody turned on Call of Duty because they kept saying, oh, it's the same thing every year. Oh, it's the same thing every year. Now it's like, okay, you're giving us this crossplay. So what differently, as far as game mode-wise, are you going to give me? You went back to Spec Ops. I don't think that's really going to give me something different I never had before. So it's like, if any of what else are you going to do? Because you're just not going to throw the regular Call of Duty multiplayer features in there and think that's just going to be fine with everybody. Just well, the regular Call of Duty they're multiplayer. Gonna add, they're going to add in some other stuff, and I think that giving them more time to not worry about Battle Royale, because like I said, you have a finite amount of time to work on things. The reason why there was no single-player mode in the last game is because they had to do Battle Royale. So if you say, hey, no Battle Royale this time, now we can make a competent single-player, a good single-player mode, and even like extras. You remember Call of Duty Modern Warfare on the on the PS3 and 360? After you beat the game, they had like the arcade mode where you can kind of go through and like rack up points. Those are the type of things that they can do with the extra development time. Because they don't have a lot of development time because they're, they're pumping these out every single time, although there's different studios. But like, it's not like they have forever. So I think it's a good thing. If you already got a Battle Royale that you can play, heck, like Jordan was saying, you can release it as a, as a download. Like an extra download, people, if you want Battle Royale Call of Duty, bam, it's right there. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's right there for you, you know? I think they can do that. We'll, we'll, I mean, we'll see. I mean, to me, if in any word, as far as like, innovation and within the call of duty franchise they really wasn't the best at it that was treyarch um so i want to see what new modes or new things they're going to do since they're since zombies and battle royale is not going to be there so i'm really interested in that that's the one thing that's the two things that concern me the most because it's like i really ain't trust y'all in the past to bring us nothing new i still have nightmares about the terminal stage of modern warfare 2 so I'm like, I, I do not trust y'all yeah, at all. Yeah, sniping the intervention from across the way, literally 4,000 miles. I still do not trust y'all when it comes to innovation. So it's like, you got to show me something. When y'all just show me those three modes three modes in the reveal, I'm like, oh, man, you better have some big ace card up your sleeve because I don't think this is what's going to keep people uh, engaged with Modern Warfare 2 after it comes out. Because it's like, I mean, not Modern Warfare 2, but Modern Warfare when it comes out. And the story mode, that's a nice addition that you're doing something a little bit different with your story mode this time. But what's what keeps people with Call of Duty is the multiplayer experience. And if you come in with a new engine, you need to come with some new damn ideas. It's just simple as that. You can't come with the same regular Call of Duty lineup. So it's like, we'll see what happens. They, we, at E3, we'll see, I guess. Uh, yeah. Joker got a slight buff. <laughs> Really? Uh, his, his side B got a little bit better. But Wait, we'll, the side B got better? Yeah, yeah, it got better. His side, regular. I don't think with our, I think, yeah, with, with Egeon, uh, Egeon or Igeon or whatever. So it made it, easy, easy, make, made it easier to hit multiple times. So That's horrible. I, I, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I don't want to play against the Joker at all now. <laughs> um, you'll, you'll just be spamming it like I used to spam the crown. Uh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Little Mac got a buff too. Rosalina got a buff as well. Um, Wolf got buffs and nerfs. So, for Call of Duty though, I definitely am actually hyped about the story mode though, just because it's still containing like all the lore from the original Call of Duty: Modern Warfare's one, two, and three. So I'm at least glad for that. I don't think the multiplayer is going to be something revolutionary. I think it's really just going to be the same old, same old. Unfortunately, but that's what Call of Duty Four was back in the day. It was just multiplayer, campaign, and that was really it. 
right? Wasn't there anything else in the original Call of Duty Four? Because I don't remember anything else besides yeah. that. And it was a great game. Well, you, were, you were like, you, you were, were like three when the game came out, but yeah, it was. Great. I mean, you, you, you're, you're correct, but they was doing something that wasn't never done at that time. Yeah, at that time. That's, that's and at the, this that's time, the it's difference. the exact same thing. And it's like, is it good? Maybe, maybe not. We won't know until they show us more. They could have something in their back pocket. We don't know. That's why I said I hope y'all got an ace up your sleeve because they're definitely gonna need a little bit more graphics, baby. I'm 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 still excited though, but I'm like uh, I don't trust Infinity Ward over over Treyarch. I really don't. So well, let me let me tell you something. What you should trust is Phil Spencer at E3 this year. That's what you should. Oh trust. Lord! <laughs> Woo! That was a good Microsoft, one, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good. You guys got it. That was a no, good. That, one. Hey, that, hey. <laughs> Phil Spencer at E3. No, I mean that was about a D. Yeah, that was about a D. C minus. You 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 pass. No, that was <laughs> that was that was an A, an A or an A minus. I'm gonna give what, myself a for a Doris D. Ass. That was an A. Anyway, Microsoft. Hey, my, you might as well go ahead and say it was an M or a D. <laughs> it was an A. So Microsoft at E3 will have 14 game studio <laughs> Xbox games. At this year's E3, Planet Xbox says Microsoft is going to body everybody at E3. What are you guys' thoughts? I agree. Microsoft is going to win hands down until my video tomorrow. But, yeah, Microsoft is going to win hands down. Let's go. 14 different games from Microsoft Studios. Baron, how does Nintendo and Sony, Sony's not there, how do they step up to the 14 games in a two-hour presentation with next-gen hardware? 14 games? This is crazy. 14. Oh, and Games Pass for only what? What, what is it, Jordan? Games Pass for... $1 for three months. $1 for three months on PC with 100 high-quality, high-quality <laughs> games. Damn, how, can you, how can you beat this? Baron, I need to know your... I need answers. <laughs> now. I need answers uh, now. I'm, I'm, finna, I'm finna give it a... Calm down, bro. Relax. I want some damn answers. I'm gonna give you some answers, right? Obviously, Phil is a little bit excited for E3. Okay, Sadly, um, I don't think I don't think he worded his tweet very well <laughs> because I think we're going to see stuff out of that fourteen, like Gears Pop, Gears Tactics, um, whatever the two Minecraft games are, um, all, all stuff like that that they own. You know, Ori and the Blind Forest, uh, you know, stuff like that, and. Um, he did say that the new studios they got, they will be showing off something, the majority of them. So I guess that would be like three or four, maybe. Maybe three of them, maybe four of them. Uh, we know we're going to see the new Halo. We know we're going to see Gears 5, so you got to add those in as well. Um, there's a rumor about Fable, and there's a rumor about yeah. Perfect Dark. So yeah. you could take that. You want to know how good that's going to be. And then, of course, they're going to show off their console. And the, and, the, and the thing is two hours long. So It's definitely... Uh... I mean... Definitely some other big surprises at the uh, the Microsoft one. There's going to be a certain special guest appearance from someone. Japanese um, yeah, or and Japanese and, or Western? Which one? Japanese. Yeah, and I hear Yoshida probably going to pop up there too. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be interesting. But when E3, I don't know about that. Um, I think they're going to put up a hell of a hell a hell of a battle against Nintendo. I think it's going to be neck and neck. Um, I think Gears Five is going to wow some people i know halo is going to wow some people and, and all their fanboys are going to be excited um if they actually show up with fable 4 and perfect dark then that's 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 some tough competition right there that might be and of course they're revealing and of course they really you know they're revealing a uh system too so that's how i feel about it okay um all right so vc what are your what are your thoughts on microsoft's uh 14 game announcements 14 games. All right. Let's think about how many games they even released in the last three years. Does it equate 14 games? Probably Does not, it? but that's okay because they've it's got about five. But how long are these games going to last till? Like, they're going to be in development until 2020, 2021, 2022. These are a lot of games, supposedly. And it could be some of the games like Baron mentioned, some of the, like, the Gears of War tactics games, stuff like that, small stuff, or the couple Minecrafts, nothing crazy. But one thing I expect that's not technically a game, I expect the Cuphead DLC to be shown. They showed that it was coming out last year. It's supposed to be releasing sometime later this year. Definitely showing it. I 100% would bet money on that. Easily. All right. And Aside from that, though, I'm hoping the Hellblade Studio 
has something coming out. Ninja they Theory. they made a great game, Ninja Theory. Yeah, that's what it was. I knew it was Ninja. I forgot the last bit, but I expect something good from them probably because if they're Galilee Studios to make these games, got to see some good stuff. Hopefully, we'll see some interesting things. Yeah, that's for sure. Imagine Jordan. Uh, they show Jordan, Jordan, Jordan you know, you know what, Jordan, you're gonna stop doing this. Doing you're what? gonna stop doing this. I didn't do anything. Just say it. Just say it. Damn it. Hey, what? what is it that you're trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. It's gonna be a funny three. They might actually win. Who knows? Well, I never said they're gonna win. No, no. I Nintendo's they might. winning. Regardless. They could. Could maybe Honestly. they don't. Maybe Nintendo bites the bullet and say Animal Crossing's delayed and everyone cries. Who knows? I would about? actually smile if, if they say Astral cry. Chain is delayed. I'd probably cry. I hope they say Astral Chain's canceled so Baron can shut up. I think everyone's gonna hope your internet cuts out now for saying. That. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs it? There's too many games like it anyway. Am I right? No. Only My Platinum games. makes Platinum games. <laughs> There's so many games that look like Astral Chain. It's crazy. I um, know. So many games. We don't even need it. It's just another sci-fi futuristic cop slasher dual blade. I don't know. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like no game ever before. <laughs> um, oh, you mean like Death Stranding? That's like no game ever before. But you think yeah, it's dumb. But- is hey, it? there's no game ever before that ain't that hasn't shown gameplay either. So hey, then how much gameplay has Astral Chain showed you in total? A lot. You've seen a lot of what you can do in that game in that trailer. <laughs> That's funny because that the trailer was only a minute something, but it showed more gameplay. Than what I <laughs> exactly. but the trailer's only a minute, and it shows about a minute of gameplay. And out of eight minutes, no, we got about forty-five seconds. Eh, it's about equal. But what about those cutscenes though? We got Death Stranding. <laughs> We saw like in in Astral Chain, like they showed like the boss fight. They showed how the Legion combos. Like they showed, like they showed a lot of stuff in that for for such a small trailer, you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I I think Death Stranding is gonna be great. I think well for some people, um, I think it's gonna be like, Astral Chain is gonna be really good. So um, I want to read off some uh, some comments here or some donations. Uh, Hentai Lover donated a dollar and says. Uh, Breaking news, according to RedTube, <laughs> Borderlands 3 is dropping its story mode for a high-quality battle royale. Also, Spyro and Crash Bandicoot are announced for Borderlands 3, according to Famit Zuzu. The third amendment will be removed. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> Great oh, comment, wow. thanks. Thanks, Hentai Lover. Appreciate the dollar donation. Appreciate you. Also, shout out to Tug Turner with the subscription as well, man. Thank you. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and let's move on to... Wait a minute. Is that the last topic that we got, or did? Yeah, that is the last topic. <laughs> that real? Wow, yeah, great transition. Yeah, that was after that A plus. Sometimes you come back crashing down back to earth. Um, a plus, relax. You barely got into a B minus bracket. Okay, well, B. Yeah. I'll take it. Damn. B minus. <laughs> yeah. I give it C minus. <laughs> well, screw your C minus. So well, let's go ahead and let's get let's get some questions from the chat. If you guys got questions, we potentially have answers for you. Um. Uh, well, I mean, we could. Attention. Oh yeah, yeah. Questions, yeah. What questions? Yeah, questions. Out. We'll take some questions. Anybody got some questions? Feel like asking here in the chat? Feel free to drop them in here. And um, I am looking over the Smash update for those who want to know a little bit more about that. And uh, yeah, basically, Pichu got absolutely bodied. It was. Uh, it was very funny to see what happened. to P- Pichu is... I don't know if Pichu's even... I think she got nerfed out of S tier for those who are... she Because she takes more damage on all of her attacks down. And she's still just as light. And it's, she's easier to hit. She might have been nerfed out of S tier. In VR now. In VR. Nerfed out of S tier in VR. <laughs> also, speaking of VR, uh, OJ. Yes. Now that there's a labo for Smash Brothers, 100% video coming. No, no, well, hurry it up in. already! Oh, it's it's you're literally on your fourth, fifth week at this. I point. know, but now, but Labo VR weeks. for Smash—that's that's that opens up a whole new possibility of video ideas. Bruh, you could have had two Labo videos. I could have. Yeah, you're right. Maybe even three. Did one for Mario Odyssey, one for Breath of the Wild, and then oh, one that's for... too many. Like, you just oh, it's never too many. As long as you make the views, it's never too many. No, it's not, that'd be too many. I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> that'd be too many. Um, real quick, I can go over some of yeah. So Bayonetta got buffed. Ken and Ryu got huge buffs. Uh, Bowser Jr. got buffs. Uh, Shulk got a little buff. Pac-Man got a little buff. Me Brawler got a little buff. Little Mac got big buffs. Rosalina and Luma got big buffs. Wolf got buffs and nerfs. Uh, but I think overall got more. They, they made his jab work, so that's good. But his, his, his laser got nerfed. Um, so 
There you go. Inquisitor. Oh, we got a lot of questions actually already. Do we? All right, cool. Yeah. Let, me, let me look through. Yeah, um, I like lines is the first one. Which one? Who? I like lines. I like lines. All right. Did, yeah. Are they tagging me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they spelled your name wrong though, so. Oh. <laughs> Claire is song. All right, we're going to read off this donation first. Sean just donated $10 to Konohama with Toby Blaster. Let's go. Thank you so much, Sean. Appreciate that. He has no message. It's just $10. Thank you for the 10 man. I appreciate that. Give some love to Sean. Uh, let me read off some of these uh, th uh, some of these uh, questions, though. Pichu is male. All right, so Pichu got bodied. Male Pichu got bodied. Uh, for Baron, what game are you looking for? Or are you looking for in Gears 5? What game? Oh, game mode. Game mode. Oh, good, good response, Baron. All right. Well, Deadlock Seven says, "What, what about this Labo addition to Smash?" Opinions, everyone. I don't care. <laughs> Labo is trash. Labo's. Kind oh, of now you come back. Labo's kind of garbage. <laughs> Labo's the worst, honestly. I think it's something that makes them money, but simultaneously, it's just something that's not for us. We won't ever enjoy it's it. It's for you, VC. You should, you should, you should enjoy it. Well, you think I'm a kid. I'm not a kid. You're, you're <laughs> Maybe told. to you because you're 46. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, man. is he 46 this week? I thought it was 47. 45. 45. Oh, okay. This your, week. Your, your, your true birthday was just a few days ago. Last. You a cougar machine, ain't you? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, did we skip a question for me? I yes. Well, yes. You, yeah. you didn't answer you. That's a lot of questions for you, Baron. There's I, at least I think, 10 I read I think, already. I think, it, I think it, lo it lagged out on me. Game I'm mode, sorry. Baron. What game mode are you excited for? For... Gears five. For Gears five. Um, horde mode, I'll, baby. I'll be excited for whatever game mode they announce. Uh, I horde doubt mode, baby. I, I doubt it'll be the regular modes. I don't know if horde mode will come back at this point. We what? Kinda... they they the one the ones who normalized horde mode. They, they have to bring it back. I, I know. I mean, yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm kind of like played out of horde mode. I want to see some different mode. Bruh. How did she you know? not get buffed in this patch? That's so stupid. Oh my she god! Really no one even plays buff? Smash Bros. You are still Relax. talking about this buffing. <laughs> no one even plays this game anymore. I Jeez, what y'all talking about? This game is no, there's like popular. there's like 16, 17 million copies sold. I don't know. <laughs> I know. And now they're all just coasters. It's so this <laughs> Smash is so popular, dude. <laughs> oh, uh, so I'm gonna answer. Let, let me answer that other question. Would I rather visit Nintendo headquarters or receive ten and, and receive ten million dollars? What the or, hell? Rather Listen. live at the Bunny Mansion. I'm taking that ten million dollars. What? That, what? Get wait, your do you get to go? Bunny wait. Mansion got to do anything. So wait, do you go to Nintendo and get the money, or is it an or for all three? No, you get you visit Nintendo headquarters and receive ten million dollars, okay. or go to the Bunny. Mansion. I thought I, it was like an or between them all. I was like, I've been to Nintendo, like at least of America. It's cool. It's nothing like it's not equal to getting ten million dollars. Why would so anybody pick the, the option? Though? $10 is the only money. option that you'd pick, even if it was all split up. Nintendo, $10 million, or freaking, what was the other option? Bunny Mansion? What the hell? The $10 million would be the one that you take every time. Yeah. Um, yeah who I, has, could, I, I, could buy, I could build my own Bunny Mansion with $10 million. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, how badly will PC players body console players on Modern Warfare? Um, I don't think, you know what? I'll take that back. I think they're going to really do some damage. Um, I don't know how bad though. Char Charity says Jordan's icon. No, it's is not Catwoman. Cat <laughs> it's not oh, Catwoman. It's from Infamous Second Son. It's Cat. Dude, I don't oh, know uh, how she got that. It's Catwoman. Catwoman, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Shout outs to Charity, man. We love you here. Um, oh, I thought Tony was supposed to comment. Didn't Tony uh, had a question? I thought Tony had a question. What? Well, do we have a question? I, I think that. Tony had a question for me, but I can't find it anymore. There's a lot of questions. I'm yeah, one of them I was going to mention was uh, from Asan. What you guys think of the Pokemon conference? <laughs> oh, Pokemon, Pokemon Sleep and Pokemon Even Dumber? What was po the other Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon Home and Detective and Pikachu 2. Those were the two good things from the conference. But we, I don't know what people were expecting. The Pokemon conference was fine. It was They were going to talk about business. They're going to talk about their buildings and their movies and their other oh what's the, what's that other game where you play with all the trainers that's on mobile uh pokemon masters 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 right? yeah that look, that looks it looked right. good until i realized it's probably a gotcha game but all Bro, mobile how games are, are gotcha games so i like how there's people, people in the gotcha. chat what's people up? in the chat that still think that i'm gonna unbox that panty party game and wear those panties in the <laughs> review bruh you got one day left and i still need 1500 subs so yeah it ain't happening unfortunately ask your boy clean prince for the shout out no i'm not like that 
you have a channel with him. I don't clout chase, bro. It's not about clout. He's your That's, friend. I yeah, but I don't take advantage of my friends. What do you mean you're working? With, you're working with. That's not taking advantage. You're working with him. It's collaboration. It doesn't matter. It's, it's yeah, but that's our side channel. I'm not his channel's not my channel. Hey, I don't man. ask the main people I edit for who have six million subs to give me a shout out. Hey that's man, let, let let Jordan build his clout on his own, man. That's yeah, I don't need other people's clout. He wants his own clout temple. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I found it. Uh, and ten million dollars. I found I found I want that ten million too. I found the question. Do you think Nintendo and Platinum Games will reveal three of its Develop games for Switch at E3. I guess at E3. Um, I don't think Near Automata is one of them. We are going to see Astro Chain and Bayonetta. That's a given. See, see I don't think we're seeing Bayonetta. I think we're are, definitely going to see Astral Chain. And I think we have a chance of seeing Near Automata. I hope they cancel E4. Bayonetta 3. No, you are going to see Bayonetta. Bayonetta no, like 3 is going to cancel. As far as Bayonetta being released this year, that's up for debate. But you're going to see her. No, yeah, like winter 2020. Already. It's not happening. Look, what do you? I mean, they already showed you all of Mario Maker. They finna show you all the Pokemon. What do you think they're gonna show in this direct? Luigi's uh, Animal Mansion, Crossing. <laughs> Animal Crossing, Crossing Fire yeah. Emblem, Astral Chain, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and Dragon and Quest. And Marvel Ultimate Alliance also got some extra coverage off of Game Informer. So obviously they're, they're making some somewhere. room. they making some room for some certain titles. How many people are yeah, Game Informer? He said, uh, Link's, look, "Link's Awakening don't need Damon that. X Machina, dude. They got all that stuff to cover. Yeah, no, I, I think that's I, I maybe know. being delayed. Honestly, they're gonna be Possibly. like, hey, they're gonna drop a standalone video right before E3, similar to their Metroid Prime one. Be like, hey, uh, we know we're gonna talk about Bayonetta, but uh, it, that shit canceled. And then they're gonna end <laughs> the video. Canceled, don't you? I just, I just want to see you get angry. Well, town's I know being you delayed. Do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, town is definitely being delayed. I, I don't know." Yo, if I Town think, comes out this year, I'm surprised. If yeah, Town comes like out it. this year, I'll be shocked. <laughs> I, I can't see it being anytime after October. It has to be before October if it releases. Like, here's I was used, what... It'd be stupid to put it too close to Pokemon. Exactly. So I, I think, uh, honestly, the way this thing is shaping up, though Damon X was confirmed for this year, so that's not getting delayed. Yeah, but that was during and right before they dropped the demo, I believe. It was already confirmed. No, no, they, they right? confirmed it after the, the last uh, financial thing, too. Oh, all so, right. Okay. So that's going to be it. either August or December for that game. Well, that's not summer. December is not summer. They didn't say oh, it's summer said, release. They, said, they did. December. They confirmed for summer release. That's You're a said. summer release. <laughs> that could be September, too, then, because technically the end of summer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it can be. Here's what I see is happening you're going to get that stack July. You're gonna get Astro Chain and Damon X in, in, in um what you call it in August and, and Oninaki's in August. Ooh, um, yeah, Oninaki. September, I, even, I forgot about that game. Quick, I didn't remember it. <laughs> September, you're going to get. I, I really believe in September, you're going to get uh the Dragon Quest uh special edition, and I feel like Animal Crossing is going to come out in that month. I don't know why. It's, it's I just September feel like, for sure. I feel. Yeah, I think it's I, September. I feel like, I feel like Uncle. Then October is going to be Bayonetta three and Luigi's Mansion two. It's shut up. It's Luigi's Bayonetta Mansion and happening. that's it. That's yeah. the Luigi's Mansion three. No, it's not it's, because they, it's they Luigi's don't. Mansion and no. Call of Duty Modern Warfare on the Switch. That's okay. it. <laughs> no, that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Luigi's Mansion three and Bayonetta three. November is going no. to be it's going to be Pokemon. December is going to be Link's Awakening. That's how it's yeah. going to fall. And then January is going to be Bayonetta. No, Bayonetta is coming out February. October. February is Bayonetta because the, the the two pack came out in February of 2018. So yeah, I but the original game came out in January. I, I, look, I don't give a damn. And Bayonetta two came out in October. I don't give a damn about your two pack theory. Okay, it's not happening. You're a two pack theory. <laughs> <laughs> Kojima's two in your theory, oh, Baron. Ooh, ooh, yeah, that's right. He, he he said he was in you. I'm, I'm gonna tell you the chat right now. Y'all insane if you think you're not going to see Bayonetta. If you want to debate me about the release date, fine. But debate me that you're not going to see her at E3. You are insane. I think that's not most will get 30 Platinum seconds. Games already yeah, told yeah, you they having it. They having a big year. You're going to see Bayonetta. They already basically told you you're going to see Bayonetta. Her. More like Bayonetta. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, Bayonetta in 2019, 2020. Oops, forgot what year it was. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you said it right the first time. No, he got right yeah, the second time. 
2020, 2019. So you just got it. Yeah, you got, that one too. <laughs> got him. Got him. Yeah. Good input, OJ. <laughs> OJ, OJ <laughs> watching the damn the game. <laughs> he didn't even listen. He watching the damn game. He think he's slick, but I see you watching the game. <laughs> I don't know you guys. I just did the, the patch update for Smash. He up there watching the game. I mean, he ain't slick. <laughs> I got the game on in the background so I can hear it. I can hear what's going on. But you ain't even paying attention. Uh, I'm, I'm paying attention to a lot of stuff going on right now, all right? Let's get some more questions here, guys. Um, <laughs> you, you literally skipped through 30 questions. Yeah, I no, did no, skip yeah. a lot of questions. But you guys kept on going on, so I was like, hey, you guys can talk. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead with the questions. I'll answer them all. What, J2 what? Blue says, uh, what games do you guys think Nintendo will show that hasn't been announced? Well, I mean, how do we how do we know that? <laughs> Mario Sports game. That's the most I could guess. That hasn't been announced. It, is, it has to be third party. Pretty or much. in the Blind Forest Shadow Drop. I think it's going to be, um, there's going to be one of the four. I, I'm going to talk about this tomorrow in a video. I got a video that I'm editing. Uh, oh. But yeah, that's why the, <laughs> you see the, the, you know, the video. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, I think it's going to be either Earthbound. There's going to be, um, there's going to be Earthbound. It's going to be Kid Icarus. There's going to be F-Zero or there's going to be. Uh, Golden Sun, one of those four franchises. It's coming back. I'll tell you I, what. I want Golden Sun. That's the one I want. Oh, I win. That'd those. be great. But uh, there, there is going to be a continuation of a certain series there uh, that's going to have a demo that comes out during the show. Uh, of a, It's interesting. Yeah, it's it's an interesting one. I'm curious to see how they're gonna do it. You, you okay. know what, Jordan? Jordan, you, you got it. By the way, after this you're podcast really is done, me. you're gonna tell us what that is. <laughs> Jordan, you are really killing me. I'll, I'll give you a hint. Uh, you should be excited. Maybe. Oh, I got it. Well, I'll just wait till after the podcast is done. You're, I'm not letting you leave until you tell me. What hey, it hey, is. yo, hey, yo, Gunslinger says something really good. Where the hell is Mario Strikers? I was in love with that game on the Wii. Uh, aren't the people Man. supposed to make it making something else right now? I mm, thought. Wait, didn't count. Next Level Games make that? Or Next no. Level Games made that game. Next Level Games makes yeah, Strikers. Aren't they making something right now instead? Metroid Prime right. Four. So yeah. Oh yeah, right, yeah, that's what yep, they're making. They have that right. game. So that's the Spinjutsu Kid. Or spend Jutsu with the five dollar pledge on Patreon. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village. Appreciate that, Elite Ninja Pledge. Uh, feel free to join the Discord. I got a fresh link on there for you. So join the Discord and uh, play some games with us, like Smash Brothers and all that. Um, You're a Discord. <laughs> Somebody said Eternal Darkness. No, I think that's yeah, I done. wish that'd be great. <laughs> that it's would done, be bro. awesome. Nintendo's uh, like Nintendo said, screw Eternal Darkness. They don't. Yeah, that, care that's anymore. that's done and over. We ain't, yeah. we ain't, we ain't having that. Yeah. Um, Princess Lavinity says, "Who are our waifus?" Oh wow! Oh. Aaron, yours would be Kojima, right? <laughs> yeah. Actually, Actually, yours is Dora. Mine's would probably just be Bayonetta at this point. Wow! That's surprise! Lu- yeah, Lucina for <laughs> Lu- Lucina for me. She's the she's she's awesome. But also Lucina. Um, yeah, uh, uh, is it Shiva? Shiva from Resident Evil Five. She's the number one one. I thought you were going to say Shiva from Mortal Kombat. I was about to say what the. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Shiva from Shiva from uh from from Resident Evil. Yo, Rosalina, man. Or Storm. Rosalina. Just like yeah, dude. Any version Rosalina. Of Storm, Rosalina ain't got no curves though. No, so. Rosal. No, you don't see under that dress, nah. dude. She's slim thick. <laughs> Politina, though, that's Rosa, the one. Rosalina, he said you don't see under that dress. Well, oh those are God. those women are way too tall for both of you guys, by the way, dude. Like, like Rosalina's like seven foot. You know, no one's too tall when they're laying down on a bed. Oh, wow. yeah, maybe they're just too long. <laughs> oh man, y'all really taking the waffle thing a little bit too far. <laughs> laying down on the bed, like, what? listen, listen. Ever you saw about height? So, first Galaxy awesome. game when I was younger, and that game came out almost a decade ago. Over a decade ago, actually. Sorry, yeah, over a decade ago. Uh, yeah, that's when I first got that crush. I'll never let it go. Rosalina all the way. That Rosalina. hair, her hair over the eye, one of her eyes, that, that little... Bruh, little... that was, like, in the perfect time, too, because I was in, like, that, like, emotion <laughs> scene, and I like that music, and all the girls in school were goth, and I was oh like, yeah, Oh, my God, awful. bro. Somebody said Rosalina's shape, like, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We don't really know because of her dress. Oh but I'm my saying. god, <laughs> Miley Cyrus, she she's shaped like the chicken you get off the farmer's market. <laughs> Gunslinger said Jordan's waifu is Spyroette. 
Spyro. Wow, that's, that's, uh, that's like, like, like Toadette one. Crown on Spyro. Oh man, please don't do that. Please don't wow, make that. So it's clever, probably man. out there now already. It's please something. don't make Unless that. Unless there's an artist in the chat that's gonna make it now. How, how tall is everyone on the podcast? How is Peach packing? That doesn't make any sense. No, hey, don't sleep on Peach, no, Peach dude. There's a reason her name's called Peach. No, Peach, Peach is definitely packing. Have you played Smash Brothers, dude? Come on. I say, I mean, her booty is sticking out a little bit, but no, she's, mm. Peach is packing just a little. Well, bit. She, ain't got on, she ain't got nothing on Twin Tail, though. No, she's got nothing on Twin Tail. No, no, no. <laughs> Twin Tail's also the wife too, by the way. She got them thighs. Yeah, Twin Tail. She got nothing on Twin Tail. Yeah. But uh, how tall are you, Baron? I'm six foot. Jordan, how tall are you? <laughs> Why don't I not believe you the way you said that? Yeah. Like, Baron, like, Baron's 5'10". I mean, no, I'm really 6 foot. I mean, it's nothing to be excited about. It's only 6 foot. Baron's if I was five, like 6'4", four, I'd be like, oh, I'm 6'4", motherfucker. No, you know, Baron's 5'10", five, ten, five, ten and a half. I'm going 5'10". Five, 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 OJ, I, I, look, no. I'm nowhere near six, you, buddy. Six, six foot, six foot, six shoes foot on? even, bro. No, six, six foot, foot with, with, no, with no socks and no shoes on. <laughs> When I stepped on this, stepped on the little measuring thing at the doctor's office, it was six foot. Okay. When you were in, well, you had to step onto something, so it boosted your height. Did it boost your height? No, they make you. You know what the hell I'm talking about? No, nah, they boost you. You got. You know that. You know that little stupid scale they have. Nah, you boosted. boosted. VC, how tall? Boosted. How tall are you? VC, Tinder profile and regular profile. How tall are you? Tinder profile that works every time. Six foot one. Actuality without shoes on. Five eleven. All right. Jordan yeah, five eleven. Tinder was six foot. <laughs> I no one cares. I, I'm, so, I'm you can't tell the difference of an inch, five right? Foot nine, about five. Roughly, foot. no, you just short as hell. Uh, He's five foot eight. He you five said you were seven. five foot six. Why not? <laughs> I'm not five, five, foot five foot six. I'm, I'm honestly I not saw, five foot six. I'm, bro, I'm, my I'm, man's right here is barely pushing four nine. No, look, I'm I'm five <laughs> foot. I'm five foot eight and like three fourths or whatever. That's okay. okay. That's, 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 how, that's, how, you know. that's how you know when you're adding the three fourths in there. I'm telling you, cause I played football. That's what they get you at your exact height for football. So with your cleats on, they'll do that with your cleats. Okay, I'm with five, your shoes. I'm five eleven and like with three sevenths. With my shoes, age, with my shoes on, I'm five, I'm five nine and some odd whatever with my shoes on. Without shoes and all that, I'm like five eight three four. They, they also did it for pro football too. When I played semi pro, they get your exact height and that's my exact height. So, oh man, go. so you You're five nine football. with cleats on. Wow. I'm a, no, I'm about well with cleats it's about five ten with cleats. You're about five ten with cleats. So I, I look about five ten with cleats. With shoes Char- on. I'm about Charity five, Charity yeah. says something really, really, really real right there. Like women, they downsize. They profile. They can't yeah, say they talk. That's true, they do. <laughs> This is my tender pros is on five nine in real life. I'm five ten. It's all girl problems. <laughs> hey man, you know we we like we like them short women. We can scoop up and stuff. You know, like. no, I I don't care. I've dated I've dated I tend to went out a girl six. She was six foot one. Was hey, hard. listen, I'm not I'm not opposed to. I'm fine. I'm not hey, opposed I'm, to climbing a mountain. You know. Hey yo, I'm I'm not saying I won't chop down a couple of trees in my day, but I'm just saying. <laughs> no, the thing about it is that most women most women will not care. But if you start being self conscious about it, then they'll start caring. If the if the woman's oh, yeah. taller than you, bro, oh. I don't care if she's eight feet if she's like, damn, what up? You know, one thing we should talk about quick. I see it in the chat. Uh, so, 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 I always pronounce his name wrong. Slidus T is talking about how Days Gone is twenty dollars, and same with God of War and Spider Man potentially. That's soon. not yet though, right? Yeah, yeah, not now. It's soon. But, it's uh, soon. Know, that's that's, that's, just, like, that's just it's just in a couple of weeks. It's like digital only though, right? Y'all know days going is trash, so why are you surprised? Like, oh, I ain't surprised about that, not at all. <laughs> but people are, and it's like, aren't? Why aren't you surprised? It's days gone. It's not that good. <laughs> it is garbage. Obviously, the sales fell off very quickly for that game, so they they sliced the price of it. Yeah, it was like day one, and then ever since then, people just returned all the copies. Uh, Char- Charizard got a buff. Uh, Okay, like, move, move on. on. He's K-Roll still got talking. a buff. That's all that matters. Did K Rule get a buff, OJ? Come on, just tell me now. Uh, I don't see anything with K Rule, but I don't know why Sheik didn't get a buff. Oh, wait, hold up, King K Rule. Increased speed of the edge grab range detection. So, so I have a better chance of grabbing people now. Awesome. You can't Great. get two framed this fast. That's how you yeah. get a. That's how you cop a case real quick. <laughs> <laughs> 
God. <laughs> Any other questions? VC, take yeah. some questions from the chat. VC, VC said he had a lot of questions. He's yeah, yeah. I, I saw a VC. bunch. Let's go. Hold on. Let me see what we got here. All right. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Fire Blast Gaming says, what do we think about the former Disney Interactive VP joining Nintendo? Yeah, I heard about that. That's cool. That's interesting. You think he's going to make a big difference in the long run Hell of the company? Nah, he ain't going to do nothing. What, what, what is his position in Nintendo? Develop, That's all I want to know. Developer, Doggy style? Developer and, Doggy style. <laughs> developer and uh, third party like publisher relations like that. Oh, I think that will help. Third party publisher relations? He's yeah. not going to He's not gonna do anything. People who want to develop on Nintendo will develop on Nintendo. People who don't, Call of Duty. Maybe. Exactly. Uh, oh. Another question from uh, Charity. She says, would you guys play Smash Bros. if it went to the Oculus? Or would you think they'd be more difficult than enjoyable? What the I, hell? I'm not playing Smash not on playing not... Smash on anything. I don't play Smash Bros. in general. So, like... <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I feel you. <laughs> Just because of the VR. Like, I already don't like VR. So, if Oculus it definitely is enough for me. I'd probably be more interested in checking it out in VR, honestly. See what's up. VR is garbage. Who like just like your hot takes? No, my hot takes are wonderful. Mm. If I got the hot take. They you can juicy. Just it they juicy. Mm. Dragon Quest over Fire Emblem. Chat, describe it now. What's better, Dragon Quest or Fire Emblem? Not talking rivals. Just talking franchises. <laughs> Dragon, Dragon Quest. <laughs> Fire Emblem, exactly. Dragon Quest. I'll Dragon take. Quest. I'll take Fire Emblem. Uh, I'll take. Fire I, I know. Emblem I know. OJ would take Fire Emblem. Yeah. Fire Emblem every time. I'll take Fire Emblem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not my type of gameplay. I yeah, so I, I've played it, but it's, it's not the same for me. Um, so, let's see what else we got here. Uh, I have, I have a question though. What's up? Now that everything is kind of shaping up a little bit, of course we got a couple of surprises to come in E three, but we know Call of Duty Modern Warfare is coming. Uh, we know Gears 5 is coming. We know Death, Lame Ass Stranding is coming. Um, who do you see as the the five contenders for Game of the Year now, as of right now? Uh, not I Bayonetta, guess. not Astral Chain. <laughs> not... Well, I don't think you can say no to Astral Chain. <laughs> yeah, I could say I, I could say no to Astral Chain. Well, what are your five, Jordan? What What is your five? Because it's typically five that get nominated. So what is your five? Then? I mean, I haven't what? played enough games this year to... Like, if I'm going off what I think in general of everything that's announced, yeah. or what, uh, no matter what, Death Stranding is going to be up there. That's no matter what game. That's a Hideo Kojima. They're going to give it to him whether the game is mixed reviewed or not. Um, Mario Maker has a potential comeback if they fix their shit, but uh, they, I feel right now to me they kind of lost their spot with their uh, with that announcement. Um, Resident Evil Two will probably be up there, even though it's super early. Uh, there really isn't. I don't know because Sony really doesn't have any other shit. Uh, no Xbox, gear. Xbox. Well, that depends if Xbox even releases anything this year. I don't even the know if Gears is coming out this year. Uh, but how, I, I don't even know if I'm confident in agreeing with that. Um, if it I, does, I don't see it. I don't see it going up for Game I, of the I Year. I can give you guys five solid uh, contenders for. It's Game gonna be Astral Chain. It's gonna be uh, Fire, Fire Emblem, Emblem Three Houses. Five, uh, five contenders. That that's for overall. It's be a Labo <laughs> VR. Absolutely, I got five contenders right here. Here's okay, the what about it's it? gonna be. Right. It's gonna be well, number one. I'm not in no particular order. You've got Resident Evil 2 remake for sure is going to be in the in the running. Easy, yeah. You've got Sekiro. That's definitely, oh, yeah, yeah, that's Sekiro. definitely going to be in the yeah. running. You're going to have Death Stranding because you're going to have the bi the recency bias and you're also going to have the Kojima bias. So oh, that's gonna Borderlands be, 3. Yeah, that's, that's going to be in there as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, what's the fourth I one? honestly feel that Astral Chain is going to be a contender for Game of the Year. I'm, I'm saying cool. that honestly. I feel that it's going to be a contender for Game of oh, the Year. God, hype it up okay. some more. I'm just saying. I, I just think it's going to be there. And then I'd probably say for my the last spot here, it's going to be like a swing pick between like a, a Devil May Cry or maybe even like Call of Duty, the new Call of Duty that's coming out. That's October, so it's going to have a little bit more time. Or even something like... Um, Maybe like even like an odd pick from Nintendo, maybe like a, a Pokemon Sword and Shield or uh, a Luigi's Mansion, something like that might sneak its way in depending on uh, what's going on with the rest of the games for the year. But I think that the top four that I just mentioned are definitely solid picks to be in the running for it. I, I think that there's 
if they're going to have a Nintendo game in there, it's going to be one Nintendo game. And I think over <laughs> Astral Chain, it's going to be, if anything this year, Luigi's Mansion. Uh, I think, may, depending on if that game is incredible or not, I, don't know, I think man. that I has a higher that. chance. Mario Maker had its chance. They can redeem they themselves. But, um, I don't think Luigi's Mansion think- is a replacement. I, so well, BC, we'll see. We'll see. BC, what is your five then? Borderlands three, though, for sure. Well, it's be in there. Death Stranding, Call of Duty: Modern Warfare, mm-hmm. Resident Evil two, Sekiro, and then for the fifth sp- slot, it depends. Smash Bros. technically would fit because it's that year, but it's not. But I'd have to say Astral Chain for that fifth slot then. But there's definitely okay. Sekiro. Hey, definitely bro, Death what Stranding. What is it with this game that is just making your all your okay, rocks here, go here, off? Here, I don't here, understand. You and Death Wait, Stranding, the same hold concept. Hold up, hold up, man. Mean? Hold up. Let me let me give you my five before we argue about that. My five, okay. It, definitely Resident Evil Two. That's that's, that's it has right to, there. It deserves it. Um, uh, uh, Shadows Die Twice. That's the second one. Now here's what my thing is going to really be different from most of y'all. <laughs> um, Gears Five is my third one. Mm, yeah. Um, Gears. I would have said Modern Warfare, but with with the mode, the, the limits of the mode, I, I don't see it, it happen. But I will say Astro Chain. That would be no. That would be the fourth. Christ. Um, and the last one is really difficult. It really is um, because it, it's really hard to say. And I'm basing this on Bayonetta not coming out this year, by the way. So um, well, yeah, Bayonetta would I, be in the ranks if it comes yeah. out though. I would definitely, I would shock everybody, and I would say Smash Ultimate. I think they'll end up nominating it. So I then really you're do. talking about then you're you're talking about Game Awards then, right? Only with this. No, I'm talking about just ov- overall because a lot press. of a lot of people already gave their Game of the Year or had Smash as Fighting Game of the Year last year. You yeah. know, they put it some people did do that, which is weird. But yeah, no, it's not weird because it released in 2018. Yeah, it's well, not weird. I'm 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 with you on that. I always said that game awards should always happen right before Christmas, because that's when all your games are gonna be out for the year. But people has this November deadline garbage, which I don't understand why. No, so, I disagree with that. I think that's messed up too. But I think that anyone who I, I can't stand when people take games from a different year and rank it in a current year. Even yeah, if it's a December release. I don't like it either, but Smash is just too big to not get recognized. It, it's been yeah. too It did get recognized, just not by Jeff Keighley. Yeah, well simultaneously <laughs> sold more than any other well it's going to sell more than any other fighting game, correct? It already, right, OJ? It already, has. It already did. It, it, it already did. Us. Yeah, exactly. So, so. Um, I'm not. That's uh, nobody's forgot about Mortal Kombat 11. It just was not good enough that's, to be overall game yeah. of the year. Like, it's not going to be up there. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, it, it was a good who's, game. Who's still talking game? about it, though? Honestly, who's still? Oh, I am. I still. I still play. Oh, yeah, it, it, it's, it still gets a lot of, about it. It right still now. gets a lot of play because Combo Breaker just happened, and that was a good. Yeah, uh, it'll it'll then, get attention when the new characters come. Well, out. they're they're going to be announced tomorrow. So yeah, that's when it'll get more attention. Then. Yeah. Yep. That's, it, no, I it's, think Mortal Jump Kombat's great, man. I really need to get into that game. I really. Yeah, Mortal Kombat is good, man. It's it's really good. It's all right. Not bad. <laughs> you know what is gonna be dope, yo? Astral Jenny, man. It's like it's like, oh, it's like it's like there's like two people, and it's like the future, and it's like Platinum Games, bro. They haven't made trash in the past, like an Avatar game that was download only. That was absolute crap. They've never made bad games. That was oh, their that was Lord, their C team. Really? We already That's know about you, their C team, bro. They've never made crap. You just gonna base that off of that? Bro, they never made no. Crap. No, they've you made some bad games. They, but it wasn't I'm, their I'm, it wasn't their A teams and B teams. It was their C team making those. I, we games. know that. So well, if their A team, so you saying their B teams making Astral Chain? If their A team A team is still on Bayonetta? No, their A their A their A team is definitely making Astral Chain. They've well, got how do you know that? How they only they, got A teams. The A team and the B team, they're they're, they're both as good as quality. They're both so A then, teams. I'm just then where's trying, the C team making? The big, they got Babylon's Fall. They got there's other games that they're making. They have a big action game they haven't revealed yet. Whatever it is, they've yeah, got maybe maybe problem. maybe they're working on that. Maybe Astro Chain is their C team, and you're overhyping, and you play it, and you get this. No, Astro Chain is well, not their C team. We the already near, know who's working on that game. Yeah, the the near Automata develop the near developer <laughs> is, is maybe they should just make near Automata too. Continue that story some more. Well, the, the developer from there, he's making this game, so that's the A team, bro. That's, that's the top of the team. That's the top team. <laughs> we don't know anything, bro. I'm gonna put it to you like this. Hideki Kamiya's on it too. 
I'm gonna, gonna put insane. you. I'll put you like this. If Bayonetta three makes it, which I hope my baby mama makes it, no this story. will be the year Platinum Games will secure a game, the game of the year. This will be the year they do it. They're not allowed. Bayonetta it says in the rules. Well, it says in the rules that Nintendo games not allowed. That's what it really says. Honestly, <laughs> nah, it's it's going to happen. If if Bayonetta three this year, there's no way they don't walk away with the game of the year award. Bayonetta should have walked away with the game of the year in 2014 and got bodied. It should have. Yeah. It yeah. got bodied by an inferior game. Had a higher Metacritic score too. Like it, it was ridiculous. Was it Dragon Age they gave it to? Yeah, they gave it to Dragon Age. Garbage yeah. ass Dragon. I'm yep. like, are y'all serious? Like that but was. Get- Platinum Games has grown in more popularity since then. So that's true, but at the same time, like it was pretty garbage, man. And that was that was bullshit. We, and everybody hated the Wii U at the time too. So yeah, people love the Switch. So it's a little bit different. And uh, plus, a Switch game already won before, so it's a little bit different. Frenz- Frenzy Chaos, <laughs> Frenzy Chaos says Jordan gets the panty game, but hates Astral Chain. <laughs> yeah, it's called <laughs> guys. Anyone in the chat who's getting triggered, it's called a joke. <laughs> they don't get it. Relax. Like, God, is this is this is this like I can't I want to take you guys to like a comedy show to see how triggered you guys get in a joke. God, the damn. people in the chat are probably start throwing stuff at the comedian. Like you're hurting my feelings. What are you talking so, about? Did you just make a joke about flat grass? How dare you? Hold on, let me <laughs> let me put gunslinger in this place real quick. Ooh, Death Stranding good. wouldn't be shit on Bayonetta 3. Period. Death Strand is not gonna I, body that, Bayonetta 3. It's the quality Death of the Stranding, game. That, as, not as of right the game. Now, nah, Death this, Stranding can't even hold a thinking. candle to Astral Chain at this point. Sales? So I, I don't want to. No. Sales wise, yeah, my body. But in terms of quality, nah. No. Yeah, but they're, they're going to be about the same, if not. I think Bayonetta is going to be a game that we've never seen before. It's going to truly be a a crazy game that we've never seen before. Like when Bayonetta, oh, they said that's what they Wait, know. We're, we're, Bayonetta three is to be a game we've never seen before. Unlike yes. Bayonetta one or two. Yes, they said that. That's that's what they said. Not me. Why, they are said you kidding that. me? Are you the third game in a series that has two others that has specific gameplay that people want is going to be different from the <laughs> why, next one? It's going to be what? Yes, that's what you they just, they said. They're going to make an action game that's never Jordan been done before. Just mad because that's Pokemon crazy. got flat grass. I don't that's care all. about Pokemon's grass. Pokemon I don't care about flat grass. grass. About it's 2019. I don't care about Death Strand. I, don't care, I honestly don't even care about video games anymore at this point. All this stuff <laughs> annoys me. This is what happens when you start working in video games as much as we do. You just start hating everything. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, like, I, I can't pick up a game and enjoy it anymore. Like, I just no, hate everything no. I play. What Jordan just said is actually the true feelings of all content creators, by the way. <laughs> of all content creators, everyone's just like, dude, screw. Like, at some point, you just say screw everything because everybody just honestly. complains and whines about everything. And at this point, you don't even enjoy it anymore because you're so damn busy. It's not even like you had time to even play games. What Jordan said is the actual true feelings, but we're not going to sit here and say that we actually mean that. We're going to joke around about it. But that might be the true feelings on literally everybody that you know and love on YouTube that creates content. Believe it or not. <clears throat> there is yeah. too many games out, though, like in general. Like too many games are pumping out. So it's hard to get every game and play every game anyway. I'd rather just watch movies, honestly. You got that thing to watch. It takes like no that effort. Works. That's why movies movies are easy. It takes no effort. Games like you gotta actually yeah. like focus and stuff. Use like some that. brain power and stuff. Yeah. Hey, some movies make you think. Well, yeah, but it's different though. It's still passive. Like you still, but you can you can be a yeah. lazy butt and just like sit down and think while you're lying down or whatever. Like me, like I watch like all the Matrix movies again, right? And you know, I, I those make those movies make you think too. But it's not as much as like having to think when you're playing like Smash Brothers, you know, and I'm playing Party Man's freaking Peach and getting bopped, you know, at times. Like it's different than that or playing certain types of games. So, I mean, there, there are passive games that just like let you chill. So there are that. But oh, um, I, I, wanna, I like I, I want to answer this question because people keep asking this. Well, if they say Bayonetta is going to take, you know, action games to somewhere never seen before, why y'all don't believe it about Death Stranding? Well, here's the thing. The reason I don't believe it because they still haven't shown me fucking gameplay <laughs> of what I, they still ain't showing me gameplay. Well, I didn't that's say the only that. Thing that's, no, I'm no, I'm talking. No, the people in the chat was saying that. Well, no, because he, oh. he asked me, said, why do you believe if, if they don't? Believe, but I never said oh, he that. Asked you, I thought he was just asking the whole panel. But well, that's why saying, that's I never why said I that about Death Stranding. It might be a, a game like we've never seen before. You know, I, it looks I'm like just, a story I'm we've thinking. never seen before. Story, story definitely. Seen before, definitely. Yeah. I, I have no problems with. The difference in story. I just have a problem that you ain't detailed no gameplay yet, and it, and it's about to come out in November, and you yeah. ain't gonna be at E3. So that, that's a little bit worrying for me. It's like uh, you need to do something. 
Honestly, all I want is Cyberpunk 2077. Nah, that's not coming out this year. That's I know, but I still want it. Yeah. That's the only game I honestly, aside from Borderlands 3 this year, that's the only game I like truly so I want to sit down and play. Oh, there's other one game like, you know, of Jordan that's coming out this year. What? what? You know which game. We talked about it on the podcast. Oh, you're talking about Skate? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I already know EA is going to mess it up. So I'm looking forward to it. But like, there you to buy time. your hats and buy your skateboards and buy your wheels. Oh, yeah. Lord. I mean, I'll play it, but it's like, I'll probably do it begrudgingly because they'll mess it up. So, how you how bad or how good do you think this Avenger project is going to be? Because Square Enix said it's going to be at E3. If, it, if they're banking everything on it, it better be damn good. I, I made a meme the other day about it. Where it shows the two Drake pictures, the one where it's like, oh no, and I put Marvel to Alliance three, and then the next <laughs> one's like, yeah, for Avengers. I don't Honestly, know. I think it's going to be better, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. Ultimate Alliance three is looking outstanding. It does look like a good game, though. So Ultimate I'm Alliance. like, they I'm have to bring it with this Avenger project, or it's going to look really silly. Yeah, but the thing is, is like I have friends who have the Switch, and like they're retweeting stuff about the Avengers game solely because it says Avengers. Like it's it's one of those things where like the name itself is gonna be enough to market the game, unlike Marvel Ultimate Alliance three. It's but, weird to say that, but even though it's the same thing, Marvel. But oh, is this not? Have you seen the views Marvel Ultimate Alliance three has been getting online? It's insane. People well, are excited I don't see about why that game. these games are being pitted against each other. One of them is an exclusive. The other one is for PS four, probably PS four, Xbox one, and PC. Marvel Ultimate Alliance is a game with the with the history. It has a, has an yep. installed fan base. This isn't the first game in the series. This is the one, two, three, four. This is the fifth game in that line of games. So it has a I'm fan kinda... base. It's going to do well. I mean, it, it doesn't have to beat the game for the PS4 and Xbox One. I mean, can we be happy that this fran- this franchise was dead? Everybody thought this whole franchise was dead. It doesn't start with Marvel Ultimate Alliance. The thing, the thing I don't get. X-Men. You know what I'm saying? X-Men Legends. So I don't understand why there's a problem. Like, they're bringing it back. It's been a decade since the last one. This is for fans who have been wanting this. This is great. We can get the Avengers game. I don't. We can get this game. I don't think that. I don't think that's. I don't think they're putting them against each other. VC I, is. V, no, I don't. I, I, don't am. I know why VC. I have is. those hot. I, I have those hot takes. I think. I think the Avenger project is still a ways off. I think they're gonna give you a teaser, and that's gonna be that. I don't think it's coming out anytime soon. And I'm, I'm not, work I, I hope there's some actual gameplay. If they're announcing that they're going to be showing it off, they haven't it's, shown it for two years. We better get some substantial something. It's Square Enix, and look how they've been showing the remake of Final Fantasy. Well, you know what? To be fair, with Final Fantasy, they've canceled and restarted that development like seven times. So, oh, yeah. man. so we'll be I lucky if Part 1 comes out this year. I and, did. If, if, if it comes out this year, everyone's banking on Part 1 of that coming out this year. I'm like, I don't see how, but if it does, cool. And, and they got some exclusive Switch projects. I keep forgetting they said that too. So I don't know what those are. Oh yeah, it's they probably got just some like a Kingdom Hearts collection port without three, because they for some reason can't finish three yet. So now they're gonna switch tax it, dude. They're gonna put one and two by themselves and both charge oh, sixty bucks. Why y'all playing? They oh, might bust that, out Final you, Fantasy. You mean one and two as in the final mixes, or one and two, one and two. The, uh, I, I think they'll take literally the final versions of them and just split oh. it. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't know this. I didn't know this. So the people that's making the Vision game is the people that made Rise of the Tomb Raider. Yeah. Oh, Chris God. Oh, Chris God. Oh, yeah. God. Now I'm really... Oh, <laughs> y'all have fun with that. I- I'll stick an old Marvel to the middle of my What? You don't, you, wait, you don't like to- oh, the new Tomb Raider games? games? Oh, man. I, I don't know. They're, they're, great, they're making an that Avengers game? An Avengers game, though. No, I don't... That the- why? Mm-hmm. What, why? Why? Are you, why? Why would you have hesitation? Because what they're doing, what they've been doing lately with Laura Croft has been more of a cinematic, not really high action type of thing. And what Avengers, is Avengers? It's, it's been no, Avengers has to have cinematic. some high action in it, though. It has it's, some cinematic. You can get cinematics anywhere, but Tomb you got to be able turned, to deliver the action, though. Uncharted, oh, yeah. Uncharted was because of Tomb Raider, and now Tomb Raider copied from Uncharted, and it turned into its own thing. It has good gameplay, good action, and really cinematic storytelling. I'm sure. With whatever we get with Avengers, we'll have a good, decent portion of cinematic storytelling. But I still think the gameplay is going to be solid. Whatever we get, whether we're flying around like Iron Man or shooting our, you know, hitting our hammer like Thor or whatever is going to happen, I don't know. Mm. Before learning about them, they're not not this same like they used to be. But I, I don't don't see where your criticisms are. But 
my, the, the, Kyle, last game was kinda gar- the last game was kind of garbage. The last but, game was wasn't, wasn't that good. Bad. But the action, the action has to be drastically different from Tomb Raider. You know, I'm not seeing oh, that. Oh, yeah. A bunch of companies make very different games. So that has to be that. It can't look, be it, right, look, at, look, at, look at Platinum. They make a variety of different games. So I'm sure Crystal Dynamics can make, make a act, different game. They kind of just make action games. But are they all the same? Kind of. Do they all play this game? <laughs> no. Not really. I'm joking. I'm joking. Not really. But so they can I, I make see a what you're saying, but I, I don't. I don't. I, I don't know. Just hey, just just watch the reveal, and then judge. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the reveal. I'm I'm, I'm gonna be interested. Um, I'm I, excited I, for I the game. I think it's gonna be, be dope. interested too. I'm I'm excited. Mm-hmm. For it. I think it's gonna be cool. Yeah. At this point, I I I think I get more excited to see the game than to actually play the game, though. I think. It's- <laughs> Honestly, though, before I heard it was the same developers from the two Raider games, I assumed it was going to be some sort of RPG with Avengers initially. It looks like it might be that. that. would have been dope. It might still be that, though. Think so? Yeah. I mean, we know nothing. So yeah. We'll can't assume. It might can't be. assume. Hey, and if you ask for something that's not there, you're entitled. It just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it might, it might still it might be that. Because, like, what else would you... I mean, you gotta have some type of like, or like even like a skill tree. Like if it's the Avenger, you gotta. Have and you a skill get to tree. use everyone in the Avengers, and you eventually find more characters to use as you go I along feel, the way. That'd be dope. I, I really I think, hope it's like like a Spider Man, you know, where you can upgrade, you know, and get as you level up and you get new powers or and items and all that. But I hope I, I really would love an open world Avengers game. That'd be dope. I don't. You That's think what it's gonna I be open world. That, I would that, love that. I think any other way is kind of like. Eh, you know, like I, if I have the choice to be these heroes, I want to have these huge city battles. I want to be Iron Man flying through the city. The only problem you know? I have with that is I don't see the buildings being destroyed in these battles. It won't be no, like they, yeah, no, they it won't. It won't be like that. I'm sure maybe in cutscenes they'll show some shit, but uh, yeah, 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 making it. You know, my hype well, they could and they can down. put crackdown for the shame. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm making my hype level go down. Here's a question. Um. How much do you think Damon X will sell? A million? A million. Every copies. other every other game has been doing it, so a million. Probably about like 10, 15. <laughs> In total, 10, 15 copies. Use an ass. <laughs> you know <laughs> it's just, just put me like 10. Like not, not that Ultimate it's Alliance 10. is going to hit that 10 mil. Okay. No, it's gonna hit uh, like <laughs> uh, dude. Multi- it's Mar- gonna Ultimate hit Alliance. Ten no, it's gonna be lucky to hit five, bro. Relax. No, it will hit five at the very most by the end of the switch's life cycle. That's basically what? what's gonna Y'all, yeah. oh, but we're not gonna five, do. We're not gonna five, do this again, five, guys. Five, we're not gonna five, do this five, again. Five, 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 five. Right, before we get off, let's do some last-minute E3 predictions. No, we, right. we we don't have time. We don't have time for that, unfortunately. Last-minute E3 prediction. Hey, there's gonna be some surprises. We'll do that next. Pikmin we'll, three we'll do, we'll is do coming E3. to the Switch. We'll do E3. We'll do E3 stuff next. Remember week. to be excited for Nintendo and keep your eyes peeled for Xboxes. Conference. And don't be expecting anything and assume, or else you're entitled. Yeah. You know all you guys are in with, with all those X's he said, so you need to be excited for anything Xbox, hey. anything with Excite Bike, or no, anything not with Excite Bike, but just hey, follow the X. That's where the treasure is. Oh, I'm getting my Gears 5 on Switch, baby. What are you, a new Sea of Thieves? I say, oh, God, I say shit about no Sea of Thieves. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're going to go around the horn here. Shout outs to. Uh, Jordan Fringe, shout outs to Baron and VC. So let's go by one by one. Let people know where they can find you, VC. Where can they find you at, my man? You can find me anywhere on Twitter or Instagram at the same handle as my name, VCIPZ. You can find me there. And I have a new video that just dropped today about Mario Maker and what's wrong with Mario Maker 2. Just talk about oh, multiplayer and all that. A video about who? Mario Maker 2 and what's wrong with it, technically. You said what game? Super Mario Maker 2. Mario Maker 2. Ma- Mario Maker. Super Mario Maker, yeah. <laughs> Mario. That's so funny when people say Mario Maker. Some people say Mario, Mario. some people say Mario. Like Mario. Tomato, to- tomato. For me, it's one of those things where it, it comes off how the sentence goes. I, mean, I think East Super Coast, Mario. East Coast people say, Mar- say, say, like, say Mario. I say Mario. They don't love me in with water, that. Water, water, water. They don't love me in with that. Because no, that's kind of that's kind of like the Northeast type of thing. They always say Mario. Yeah, yeah I do not. <laughs> because like, what's it called? Um, uh, the dude from uh, Go Nintendo. I've been watching this podcast for a long time, and he would always say Mario, and like he said, he always says that Mario, like Mario. Yeah, for me, it's an on Mario. and off thing. It depends on how I'm phrasing it. But yeah, definitely check out my Twitter, Instagram, VCIPZ, and then also my YouTube channel. Just click on the link I put in the chat. 
my new video. So check it out. You want to hear about what's wrong, Mario Maker 2. All right. Uh, next up is uh, Jordan Friends. Where can they find you at, my man? You can find me on the YouTube channel, Games vs. Food. Go subscribe. It's with me and Clean Prince Gaming. It's a weird concept. We compare video games to food while eating food. Sometimes it's good food. Sometimes it's bad food. Our first video, hey, is Anthem better than $3 grocery store sushi that's about to expire from the clearance section? Sounds stupid, but you may like it. It's funny. Go watch what it. What the hell are you talking me. about, Jordan? <laughs> Sounds like a good series, though, to be honest. Yeah, it's None dope. of that, what he just said, is true. At least you, go, you don't believe me? Click the link. Click the oh, link, and then you'll believe man. me. What the hell is this? Y'all are killing me right now, bro. Hold up. This you made another like, channel? Oh, I think it's... Oh, this, is, this is the, it's the same channel. channel. Did you guys change the channel? Yeah, we rebranded. <laughs> 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 Why did you guys rebrand already? Because we came up with a unique idea that's different rather than just being something that could be stagnant. We had oh a fun idea. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you guys already rebranded. <laughs> I, I better see grilled cheese and pizza in the first few episodes. Oh my gosh. Anthem we'll get to grilled cheese eventually. Sushi. This is hilarious. Tell me these videos are over 10 minutes long, right? It's what? Are these Can videos over ten dollars or ten minutes long? Ten dollars long. <laughs> $10 yeah, $10 well, the first one's eighteen, but usually they're gonna be about fourteen minutes long. Okay, at least you guys have it. Okay, okay. I, you know what? To be honest, I actually am a little bit more hey, interested now. Knock it, knock it until you watch it. No, like, I said I'm, I'm more interested now. Yeah, it's, it sounds stupid, but let me tell you, that first video we put out is hilarious. We have a new video coming out tomorrow uh, where we're talking about God of War and comparing it to uh, so certain food. I won't spoil yet. And then I'm working on a Batman comparison one from Batman Arkham Asylum and uh, Skate 3 one and all that stuff. So we got a bunch of stuff. It's good and bad games. So that means good and bad food. Literally, Tyler almost got uh, food poisoning from eating this bad sushi oh, comparing it with Anthem. Oh, my gosh. So, this, is, this is crazy. Such a fast rebrand. Usually it takes a little bit of time. Hey, listen. We, we said, why rebrand later? We rebrand now. We just started. We had a better idea that we came up with. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's better if you got done sooner than later. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's better to do it now than to do it later. Either, either way, that's fine. I support you guys. I'll check it out. But I'll be honest. I mean, I watched a lot of you guys' What's So Great videos, and those, those are great. I think yeah, really we left good. one of them up for now, the Borderlands one I did. We yeah. left that up for now, just so there's some content there. But no, um, the, Whatever you guys do, I'll support, so it's all good, man. Um, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, whatever you guys do. I'm, I'm behind you guys 100%. So I'm going to – I'm already subscribed, but I, I'm going to watch that video, so I'll watch it. Uh, but, yeah, you guys go check it out, Games vs. Food. Uh, when he was saying all that, I was like, what the hell is he talking about? Because I, I hadn't seen the <laughs> upload because YouTube doesn't work, by the way. I don't get notifications from the channels that I even want to get notifications from, so – Barely works, so I have to literally manually like type you guys' names in, and I didn't see anything new from there. And I was like, okay, well, maybe something's coming later. But anyway, check out check out the new channel, Games vs. Food. That sounds like a really cool idea, actually. Um, and uh, next up is uh, Baron. Baron, where can they find you at, my man? Uh, Y'all know where I can find me on my channel, The Emperor Baron Black. I actually made uh, two videos. Two, <laughs> I saw two videos in two damn days, boy. I'm balling. You know what I mean? So y'all go check that out. One is on Death Stranding. Y'all definitely want to see that one, trust me. And, Not um, really. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one is on Call of Duty. I'm leaking both of them um, in the chat right now. Um, so y'all wow. go check both of those out. Um, they're both pretty good. Detailed videos about everything. And I probably got some... Uh, MomoCon footage coming later in the week. Well, oh yeah, you were at MomoCon, huh? This is the end of the week, right? Well, yeah, pretty during the week. much. Yeah, You're during week. the weekend. So, um, some funny stuff went down. So I, I got it on video. So I guess I'll share some of that garbage. You know what I mean? And uh, I actually had a battle with Kratos at MomoCon, but we didn't record it. I'm very upset about that. But um, Why did you record it. Because I was trying to find a link and I was going to have them battle each other and have Link beat the fuck out of them. <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> so I was going to do that and like make a video out of it, but I couldn't find the link. The link I found, you know, the guy I showed you in the picture, I couldn't find him. You know, okay. I was going. You know, I was going to give him a little tip just to do this video. Well, check check out stuff. Baron's channel and his video. It's good stuff, and of course. We're going to have a lot of cool stuff on Player Essence this, uh, for the rest of this week. We've got Super Smash Bros. Ultimate 3.1 update. We'll be playing that tomorrow. we got Code Vein. We'll be playing that tomorrow. It's going to be a heavy streaming day tomorrow. So look forward to that. Um, 
We also are going to have a new E3 video up tomorrow, face cam. Like I said, good player assets productions going into overdrive for the past couple days here. So going to have a nice video for you guys there. And um, a Labo video as well with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate once I get that all situated and done with. So yeah, man, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to um, looking forward to a lot of the content this weekend. This weekend, uh, there's some tournaments going on. I think, uh, what is it? Uh... Something, uh, Dreamhack Dallas. Yeah, yeah, it's not doing the patch notes, though. It's not doing the new patch. It's going to be on the old patch. Which, so. which is fair, which is fair. Uh, but Dreamhack Dallas is going down, so we, we might watch that. Uh, I think Sunday's the finals, or it might be Saturday. But if it's Sunday, for sure, we're going to watch it. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun this week, man. It's been already been a lot of uh, cool stuff, a lot of good videos up for the channel. Uh, so, so there should be some more. We're going to cover some more Fire Emblem for you guys as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you for the support tonight. Crazy support. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Um, and we'll see you guys back again next week for the PE Podcast. Remember, guys, every Thursday at 6 p.m. PT, uh, that is uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Um, yeah, so that basically wraps it up for this one. We'll see you guys for the next one. Bye. All right, bye. Hashtag Peace no flat out. grass, baby. No Astro flat chain grass. Game of the year. Dang, let's go. Say Ooh. bye, Jordan. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>